one who was buried comes up from the grave. One once was human, but a full moon makes him a slave. Siblings infernal by blood or by spell. Formaldehyde and Wolf Tommy presents Drag Us to Hell. Hello and welcome to Drag Us to Hell, the podcast for all the weirdos and queerdos. I am your ghost host with the most, Formelda. And we are joined here with, of course, Franco. Hi! Wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> My God. Franco. <laughs> These guys try to do it. Like like, they want to be energetic, but this failed miserably. We're try- I, did, I did a good one. You did, you did, like, you did great. Hi! <laughs> just screaming at it. <laughs> We're like, be more energetic, not just scream at us. <laughs> I just, yeah, I'm like, <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Uh, hi. Yeah. Um, hello. <laughs> and of course, we have Jason as well. Hello there. The What's up? I'm always energetic. Um, you are. Yes, yes, always. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Jason, for uh, taking care of this, and um, <laughs> especially after such a long, trying day. It's been a, it's been a day. Yes, it's been a day. It's been a week. We're done though. It's yeah. a week. And uh, oh, that's right. Today's your Friday. This is it, baby. This is oh, it. Oh, love I'm, that. I'm happy. I'm happy. And uh, but you know what? This is cool because we'll, this podcast will probably launch on a Monday. So Ooh. I'll start after your guys' work week. Yep. If it works go. out there, I don't I know. know. Can you can you do that? Can you go? Like is is your voice higher in the morning when you wake up? No, did you notice that? No, mine, mine's actually mine, really yeah, low mine is like morning. really really high. Really? Yeah, in the morning when I mean I'm like three inches taller. I'm oh. like half out of when breath. I'm laying down. <laughs> oh, no, um, <laughs> uh, when, are you, when are you getting that surgery? By the way, uh, so I wanted to talk about this. So, oh, shit. Um, fun. So, like, I can go to Turkey and get it done right. for less than twelve grand. Wow. Mm. And sounds shady. No, dude, fucking turkey's <laughs> yeah, coming turkey. up. They're, they're, like, turkey's the <laughs> spot right now. Oh, is it? Um uh so I'm thinking like I can either do that yeah. or I can apply for the new Gucci credit card that's coming out. Oh my god. Go credit card. <sighs> Go credit, Go credit card. card. God, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, what are they gonna get you? Three inches, four inches of height? Yeah. Okay, well that's pretty good. That's pretty good. <laughs> they can get you good. like three to four inches. Holy shit. But actually, do I correspond really to that. Or do I really you need want. I don't need, need it. Gucci. What if that goes There's wrong? There's nothing that I need. Right. There's things I want. What if that goes wrong? At least you can return like, something from Gucci. You can't return your like size. Your legs are all bowed out. <laughs> yeah. or weird. Like you yeah. know, one, one foot goes right to, to go too far. <laughs> well, this, I, um, so this guy was on a um, on a on, he's like on a YouTube thingy. Right. And mm-hmm. I, I fa- he was talking. They were talking to a guy that got it done, mm-hmm. and he was shorter than his girlfriend before it. And afterwards, he's like way taller than her. Really. So I'm like, I'm find this motherfucker on Instagram. So I messaged him. I'm like, how bad is the pain for real? Because yeah. you can't take pain medicine for it. Oh. And and oh, but he's fuck. like, no, they changed it. Now they give you a specific type of oh. pain medicine oh, okay. for coping. So I'm like, oh, I mean, yeah. I'm fucking in. It I'll be, do it for the pain pills alone. It would yeah. be weird to see. I'm one, kidding. One Addiction's day, bad. One day Frank goes tiny, the <laughs> next minute he's yeah, he like walks in and he's, over he has to duck to get in the door. Yeah, yeah. Be amazing. I mean, what the that, fuck? That's what if I just like, got my arms done? <laughs> uh, just your arms, that's <laughs> Not it. Legs. Oh, God, you're just <laughs> oh, oh, super, super like, long. You're like fucking Slender Man. His arms are touching the floor. That just reminds me of at the last Cells from the Dark Side. Yeah. Jay completely completely looked over me when I walked into the store mm-hmm. because of how high <laughs> oh, I, or yeah, how tall like I was. Six, three. And I'm not joking, like completely looked like like he stared at me and I said hi and he looked through me oh. at that point. <laughs> and then about 40 minutes later, I walked back I love into that the shop. The customer service. Yeah, yeah, I walked back into the shop and he's like, Melda, you know, he was like, I didn't recognize you. You're so tall. And I was like, yeah, because I was wearing like 10 inch heels and shit like that. It's so funny though, because the way he looked at me was just straight through me. Like he had no idea who I was. <laughs> Oh, it's hilarious. That's horrible. That's we try. We tall. try to look at all people, high and low. <laughs> yeah, I treat them all. Yeah. <laughs> With <laughs> we, oh, you know what? You're seeing like a Seven Eleven when they have like the the height uh, of fucking yeah. That's thing. fucked up. <laughs> at the door, you know, at a Seven Eleven. Oh, I don't go there. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah. Sorry. All right. I went there. One, She's I went strictly there one, QT. I'm I'm a QT bitch. Oh, I know really? for sure. One, I just <laughs> had to go there recently because um, I was having a an item shipped from Amazon. You know how like Amazon oh they have those. Yeah. Lockers now. Oh yeah, yeah. And they're only at Seven Elevens, and I couldn't have this item because I was out of town, so um, I didn't want my package obviously just sitting out front my front door. Mm-hmm. So I go like, and I have to go inside the Seven Eleven, and that is like going into an alternate universe for me. That was such a weird. It's like an spate. AI thing, right? Yeah, it was the weirdest shit ever. I felt so out of place there, and I was like, I'm, I'm like looking around, like I'm, I'm so disoriented because I'm like, in my, I live right next to a Circle K. Like I could literally walk there in three right. minutes. 
And so I know like every like I walk in, I grab what I need, I'm out in like a second. Because <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I know where everything is. This place, I didn't know where the fuck I was. I was like going into a store on like Black Friday. You just <laughs> like lose all like presence of where you are. It was so funny. Have you ever I, been in like somewhere like, and just watch someone steal something like major? I did the other day. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah. My, my old job my old retail jobs. I'd I'd literally be stocking shit off a shelf. Yeah. I see some guy put stuff in his pants, I'm like, they don't Whatever. pay me enough. This is not my money. This is a company's mm-hmm. money. This oh, was okay. a. Um, this was. Uh, this may have been a. This is a Circle K. It wasn't a Seven yeah. Eleven. Uh, up here in Mesa, uh-huh. and uh, so I'm up here, which is already shady, right? Yeah, you know what I'm it's it a shady area. But I'm like, fuck, I gotta get like, I don't know what that Red Bull or something like that. Uh-huh. Yeah. So I'm in there waiting in line. I look over and it's these two girls, and they were, you know, meth is on the the menu for these girls. <laughs> oh, yeah. And uh, and they were just literally taking like these, these little pies, right? There's little. I don't know if you remember. I don't, frankly, you probably don't. Uh-huh. Let me, let me slum a little over here. Um, the, poor, the poor people. <laughs> the poor people, yeah. Uh, there's those, like those little, little pocket pies? Yes. Yeah. yeah. And they were just like, just yep. stuffing them, stuffing them. And then yep. the, and the people are watching, and in the, the counter, they're like, Stacy, we fucking see you. We see you. Uh, and they knew her name? Yeah, they knew. She, well, they yeah, crackheads uh, always go back to yeah. their, their target. And they, <laughs> Stacy just they looks over and goes, yeah, fuck off, and just yeah. runs out the door with yeah. pockets. And I'm just sitting there going... This is this is that, awesome. That's funny that you said that, yeah. Because last night I um I had a, like an a insane snack craving last yeah. night, so I go to Circle K, or no, I went to a a quick trip, right? Um, that was just down the street from me at like two thirty in the morning, mm-hmm. and and I, it's with me what? and my brother and his girlfriend. That's, yeah, cause who are you? I I, I was, I was <laughs> that's craving, risking your life. Right I there. was craving a fucking an oatmeal cookie. You know, like those oatmeal cream <laughs> yeah, pies. I yeah. love those. I, I know what you're talking yeah. about. Um, so I, I was like, we need to go right now and we're standing in line and at all of these like quick trips and circle case. Now they have these things where it's a self checkout, but yeah. you don't actually scan the items. You just put it on the, the mat and yeah. it takes a picture. I did that today. Yeah. It's and, weird. But the thing was, is it wasn't working. Oh. So there's a line going out the door and I just see a shit ton of people who are in this line just walk right with all their stuff. A handful. So I saw this girl <laughs> have like six bags of chips, yeah. Red Bull in both hands, just walk out. And, and and all those employees were just looking at her like, I don't care. I've actually, in, in Walmart, once again, we're slumming here. Oh, Sorry. God. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, uh, Franklin's ears are burning That right I was now. up there and uh, I couldn't get something to scan. So I'm like, fuck it. I just did it. My bag. bag, yeah, and, and, really. and the lady was there, right? And yeah. she's like, uh, "You have trouble with that?" I'm like, "Look, this is the first day on the job." You know, yeah. I'm sorry, I don't yeah. know. I, don't, I guess I don't scan it right or yeah. whatever. I'm mm-hmm. going to walk out of this. It's right. like if you guys are expecting me to do this on my own, then you better have it all <laughs> yeah. right. You're right? Yeah, I'm not. I'm and if not I fuck it up, way. I fuck it up. So yeah, it was. Yeah, it was <laughs> no. funny too. Uh, we were at um because now Walmart's trying to do where they put the cameras above mm. the, the the checkout thing. So oh, yeah. um, my brother actually got caught because he uh, <laughs> he put. A cologne. My brother used to be like the, he, you know, he he has his moments and stuff. Right. <laughs> but, and I'm calling him out on this. But he put, um, I think it was like a pair of socks or something inside those like bags of like yeah. t-shirts and yeah. stuff. And the when he scanned it, I guess the the camera that they have starting now on these things uh-huh. like detected and like oh. saw that there was a different item and a barcode wow. inside the packaging. And they they called his ass out on it. No I shit. was like, dude, you fucked up, bro. Because they like stopped him at the door and they're like, "Are you sure you 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 put everything? Oh, you, you scanned everything and all that?" And I was like, "Damn!" Look, but you, that's on him though. If he you get banned from a Walmart, you are somebody. You made yeah, it. You, you made it. it. Yeah. You made it man. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> you made it in life. Yeah, it's so funny though. <laughs> Gross. <I> believe it. <laughs> <laughs> well, one day I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna just trick Wolf Tummy. We're gonna go to Walmart. Oh yeah, I don't Dude. know how we're gonna do. Oh it. yeah, I'll I mean we we st- he still like, lost the bet, so it's we still like got a. It's just, your birthday party I, right? <laughs> or something. I'll have you blindfolded. Yeah. And we're gonna go in. You're yeah, gonna- oh. I'm embarrassed. I would be embarrassed to go into Walmart. I mean, which is like. Dude, I mean, I'll, like I'll have sex best, in front like, of strangers. I don't care. Yeah, <laughs> but I won't. I would be embarrassed to go into oh, a Walmart. Will somebody gets naked like in front of everybody from Sales with Dark Side? Absolutely. Yeah. But he won't go into a Walmart. Not no. into a Walmart. <laughs> Holy Standards. shit! That's like that's that's literally like my um when I don't know what I'm doing. Like I have nothing to do at home and I'm just laying in bed. Uh-huh. I'll grab my keys and either go to a Target or a Walmart <laughs> and I will walk that motherfucking store <laughs> three to four what? times until I feel like I've successfully made time out of my night with it. Like I, <laughs> I, I, I won't. You've I got won't your buy steps any, for sure. I, yeah, I won't buy anything. I won't. I really won't even look at anything. I'll just walk at the just store. Walk it? Yeah. Oh, even scary. when after when I used to work in my retail jobs, mm-hmm. and I used to work at this clothing store, and right next door was a Target. 
And I just didn't want to go home some nights. Right. But I had to call either my mom or my brother at the time because I didn't have a license to pick me up. And so when I just didn't feel like going home, I'd just go to a Target and wait till they close. What? And I would literally be the last customer to like where they're turning off the lights because I'm just roaming the store. I think I think that <laughs> I just didn't want to go home. <laughs> pretty sure that happens here at our store <laughs> a lot, like every night. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it, it's a thing. Yeah. I've actually locked, like, get leaving, and there's still people in the store. Yeah, I'm like, guys, you can. You leave. gotta yeah. go, bro. You gotta go, dude. Like, so there's been times where we've been in here at night, and you're closing up, and yeah. there like, ain't nobody in here, and there's one person <laughs> standing over there, over there, just looking at, you know, <laughs> or just like tonight too. We just had a group of people yeah, just around. I was like, and me and Frank were just looking at each other because we're like, damn, it's already closed. Like, what are they doing? These people are. <laughs> They're not booking it either. Like they're just standing there. Oh, yeah. I was like, oh, oh yeah. my mm. god! <laughs> but that's like oh, good that, lord. That, that's how it is. That's good how lord. Some days. That's retail. Yeah, that's retail. Yeah. Retail. Yeah. Terror trader, baby. All right. All right. What so, are we talking about? Today? So, well, let's just jump in really quick and do a super fast recap, and I mean super fast of Drag Race. So, uh, yeah, I didn't. I didn't watch. I watched the super clip. I watched the pit stop. That, I'm not watching full episodes. I'm only watching yeah. the pit stop. So. so it basically they had they had this thing called the snatch game. They broke. Uh-huh. It's like I don't know. It's like a thousand contestants they broke them into two groups they had the twins which i talked about right. last week that everybody's obsessed this with this was great um and that then were, that were brought on pretty much right yeah, yeah, yeah they, they were, were like offered the allegedly yeah uh, i don't think allegedly i'm, I'm think just saying happened. that for for our legal protection <laughs> it's alleged it's <laughs> so um they, so they were they but so they did the snatch game right yeah uh, and the twins they should have separated them but they were in the same group so they were on the same Already set being set up to fail. Yeah. Uh, so they were on the same panel. Who? Okay. So I don't. One was. One was. I don't even know who that is. I don't know who either of those people one was, are. Okay. So one was Trisha Paytas, which don't is even just know who a that YouTube is. star. She's a bimbo. She's got an OnlyFans. All that. They're like nothing really important. Yeah. Um. Who was the other one? Uh, Miley Cyrus. Miley Cyrus. That's they right. both suck. That's though. right. They both suck. <laughs> Basically, like the snatch game is, it's like a game Improv. game show, okay. like as setting where everybody's sitting on a panel. They're all dressed up. They have to dress up as a celebrity. It's okay. like the match game from like the seventies and eighties. Yeah. You write down oh, your, yeah. you write the answers in, and then they go, "What is like you know, blah blah blah." Yeah, and then you like, hold up your little card. Or gotcha. Whatever. Yeah, and all that. But they got to all. Like they got to act like the celebrity. They got to dress up like the celebrity and stuff like that. People get YouTube real celebrities are doing this, and that's oh, what sucks because right? the that's last celebrity. It, that's what yeah. sucks because the last three episodes or the last three seasons, there has been like a remarkable amount of these contestants doing YouTube stars. And I mean, yeah. I get it because a lot of these queens are doing are younger. They're sure. like my age, so yeah. it makes sense that like our celebrities are the people that we find on YouTube because like. If I was to do somebody, I'd probably... I don't know if I'd do a YouTube star, but I'd probably do somebody that was more well-known to me versus, like, right. obviously RuPaul. RuPaul's not going to know anybody from YouTube. No. Um, but, like, I think that's the downfall. Who because would you do? It, okay, so... Jake Paul. If I... Oh, God, no. <laughs> Jake if, Paul. If I had to do oh anybody, God. I think I would probably do... Uh, I don't know. I, you, I would think I would go really funny. I'd do, like, a Lizzie Borden. Oh, that'd be I, good. I, I do something like really old and like because like we, I dig that. Yeah, like a Lizzie Borden or my other one was doing like Elvira. Yeah, but like Elvira, that's, that's kind of hard. Man. That's that's that's, that's why Lizzie like, Borden would be a good Lizzie one. Lizzie Borden would Elvira be a would be real hard. good one. Yeah, you could, yeah, Lizzie Borden, you can, you can get away with fucking up a little bit, Everything. right? Yeah. But yes, you, exactly. But, for, I mean, one ounce of something not right yeah. in Elvira, and that's done. exactly what banished and, and, and for life. And that mm-hmm. sucks too because like a lot of people will do host of like other shows and shit like that, and it goes bad. That's so fast. It's really uncomfortable. <laughs> um, I feel like the only, th- I think the only thing I would do is like I'd like to do for Elvira would just be like the look mainly. Mm, yeah. I think I'd get the look down pretty cool and then yeah. so it, But I think Lizzie Borden would be so funny. Yeah, that would so be a good funny. one. That'd be great, actually. Yeah. Be yeah. Or mm. do like the new um, Wednesday Adams, like Janet Ortega, and mm-hmm. just stare at the camera the whole time. And yeah. Just be <laughs> hella like cryptid and stuff like that. That's all I would do. I would even answer the Don't question. Don't smile. I just put like a dead rat on the table and just be like, that's my answer. Which, by the way, the Scream 6 trailer dropped, right? Yes. Uh, I finally and saw it. I and, wanted to talk about it. Yeah. Okay. I didn't mean to worry. But no, she, that but was she, it. But she kind of, but she kind of like, uh, she has little Wednesday vibes in that, right? She yeah. does. There's Jenner a few Ortega. times we get like a really cool death stare yeah kind of making me wonder if maybe my observation was right or my observation from last the last movie uh-huh. i thought she was going to be like the secret killer right. i thought she was gonna come as one of them so who knows maybe she was playing the long game maybe we'll find out she's the killer this one yeah i'd still i'd love that we'll see i love to see that she would still be orchestrating like this whole plan like it's gone the whole Scream 5 movie and right. now a year later yeah. into Scream 6. I think that'd be pretty dope. But. All right. Sorry for switching oh, channels no, no. now. So, yeah. uh, <laughs> what were you talking about? Oh, yeah. So, anyways, the twins. Yeah. The, the twins, they end up having to lip sync against each other. 
They, they, it came way earlier than I expected. We all knew it was going to so happen. They, they both they sucked, ba- by the way. They, I thought they were really? not good. They, they, they tried to do like an orchestra. Like not orchestrate. They tried to orchestrate their they own choreographed, um, choreographed a lip sync battle for your life. Now we is... thought last 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 time we were on this podcast that they were going to go to the finals. Right? Yeah, and I, I thought... wanted them to go to the finals, but I knew in my heart. And I've been telling people when I was going to watch this season that it was already going to be planned that those two were going to be in a lip sync for yeah. their life together. Because oh, wow. I knew because like to they ha- it had to happen. Like having twins go against each other, one of them has to send the other one home, right. or. They both go home, which was what I was going to hope. I still think... They, I was hoping that they were going to put both of them and say, you're both going home. So I think what's going to happen... I mean, I could be wrong. I don't have any inside track on this. Mm-hmm. But I think on the next episode, the, the dark one... The, is gone. Whatever her name is. Yeah. She's, she's going to be like, I'm, yeah. I'm leaving. She's going to uh, bail. You think, you I think, think she's going to bail. I don't know because... Because one we, left. Because one got one, eliminated. One yeah. got eliminated. Sugar got eliminated. And then, like, but on the intro to the next episode, she's just like, I just think my sister should be here. Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. We're rich. <laughs> We're rich. <laughs> no, for real. Because that's yeah. basically it. <laughs> I mean, they are. I've seen, I've seen their fucking Yeah, they're house. fucking rich. They're fucking they? loaded oh, up yeah. the nice. fucking ass with that fucking TikTok money. I'm wondering mm-hmm. where they, how they got on, started on TikTok because I've been trying so much. And I and the only thing I'm getting is a demonetized strike on my they're account. Fucking, so then I can't yo, post anything. Ha, yo, their shit, like one respect, their drag looks expensive. Really? No, like their wigs. Do you think their wigs look expensive? No, not really. I don't Ooh. know shit about wigs. No. So Mel I don't either. No, you know it, the Maybe nice it thing, just looks the fancy nice thing, to me. It <laughs> looks like that way, but you could tell that like because they do all their wigs themselves. And oh, they do? Like, yeah. Every single wig and stuff they do themselves, which I will give uh, them credit because they do make really cheap wigs look really nice. Uh, I will say that. I didn't know but they're, that. They're, they're, but their Swifty. outfits, yeah, but their <laughs> outfits are like the same always. And this That's is not stupid. saying that they're like not, that. that they're not like talented. They are very talented. You know, just for, in, in my opinion, my, in my drag and shit like that, I like a little bit more of like a, you, you can do all the things. Yeah. I don't like just like one style, which is, if you got that, that's all, all, all good on you. But so I like being like a, a jack of all trades. Yeah, they're they're the thing about them is they're young right. and they're bubbly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. And if you're young and bubbly, and they're yeah. hot as fuck out of drag. I don't know if you've seen them out of drag, but and, I mean, I don't know why you would be really attracted to them, anyways. But me, I'm, I'm younger. I like hot. younger people, so I'm like, oh, okay, well, ouch, oh, wow, <laughs> whoa, I'm I had sorry. my shields down Ow. for that one. Woo. <laughs> Sorry, just I'm younger cool. and I like younger just, people. Just had to go off. <laughs> just had to go off. That was good though. <laughs> that tastes good. <laughs> no, yeah. They so they um one of them goes home. The other one's there yeah. still. The other I one's think, devastated. I think the other devastated. Devastated. Um, and I think I'm my gut tells like, me that one's gonna quit. Real devastated yeah. or like play it no, up. Play no, it you up could devastated. tell like she was the thing like was like they live what, together, right? Yeah, everything. They, they, they do, do everything. Together. Well, and the thing is, is to their every runway, like every look that they do uh-huh. is a it's they bounce off of each other, so their looks are almost identical, but there's some differences when it comes to each look, which I feel like is not good because if one goes home, that means you're losing half of the other look. Yeah, you're losing you're losing half the look because they they've literally centered their whole fucking lookbook based off of each other. Yeah, if one of them's gone, that just takes half of it away. Real quick, porn question. Uh, yes. porn? <laughs> oh, my, my ears just perked up. <laughs> uh, Franco just bounced up real quick. You know, I, I, sorry, I just don't dive into the gay side of porn very often, mm-hmm. uh, or ever. But it's, or uh, yeah, but like <laughs> on, on the straight side, yeah. uh, and, and this, I'm, I ha- this is actually actually goes to this quite to what we were just talking about. Yeah, uh-huh. um, you know how it's like the big fucking thing. Well, I mean, you don't know how, but somehow in the straight porn side, it's always like incest porn, like daddy yeah, that's versus a, da- that's it, a thing in the. It's gay like porn a, it's a too. huge thing, which I don't. Get yeah. it, but is that is it in the gay side that too? Bigger, yeah, I would I, I would say it's kind of reason bigger. I said yeah. like you said twins, you do everything together, and I'm like people can actually you know I know a lot of well, and that's and funny shit. too because on Twitter I've been seeing a lot of gay incest stuff like really? identi- yeah. and it's not like just like oh what they're the f- twins it's like they're identical fucking twins doing stuff and I'm like that's illegal yeah, like yeah. that's illegal <laughs> that's, that's illegal. very illegal I, I, I don't at least yeah, in like straight porn I mean even in regular porn or like gay porn too you could get somebody especially in the gay community yeah who we're known to date people who look a lot like uh, us twin boyfriends oh yeah really? twin boyfriends that's I've that's gotten a that a lot I've gotten that a lot too with some of the people that I've seen <laughs> um, anyways I'm not gonna go into that uh <laughs> but like there's a yeah, I don't know what like the rise of incest. I don't, stuff it's, has been. It's, I don't know. You go to like a, a porn hub, and it's just like everything: daddy and daughter, or, yeah. or sister and brother. And you're like, what the fuck? Yeah, dude? yeah. People are 
Are, are we that? Like, I mean, we, we hit the, you know, you reached the end of the internet, right? You know, as you, if you go through all the porn where you're just like, what's next that's going to get me aroused? And it's oh, a yeah. daddy and mommy. You yeah. Know? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. All right. Just it, thought it, it, oh, yeah. It's a thing. Okay. I'm, I, it's not, I, I don't know. I'm not into it. No, nah, I mean, I've just never, no, it's not never, me either. yeah, been like something. Someone called me Poppy for the first time recently, and that Holy really, shit. that sent fucking chills down my spine. I said, never call me that again, and don't ever talk to me ever again. Wow. At that point. I was like, do don't not call me that. Ever. Is don't it, call me that. No, that's bad. Is, is yeah, it, I don't like, no. It's kind of like saying you're older than me. Yeah, oh, it was, no, well, yeah, it was like it's oh, like okay. I safe. get called daddy. Yeah, but, yeah. By, yeah by, I, like, I hate being by my customers though. That's weird. Yeah, Anyways, it, well, even then, like people say like daddy to me too when I post a thirst trap, and I'm like, don't say that, dude. I'm 23. <laughs> yeah. Don't say that. And it's like older people too yeah. that say it. I'm how like, yeah, how dare they? How dare they? See, I like how it. Dare I like how it dare now. you, sir? Because I'm like old as shit. So I I'm just like, yeah. damn right, your dad. Sense <laughs> <You're right. laughs> the only person that likes it that I know of, aside from Jason, is the guy from um, uh, Mandalorian. He's always like, oh, uh, and he's wait. like, yeah, I am the internet's daddy. Yeah, oh, wow. the one from The Last of Us. Yeah, how he was like, yeah, I'll I'll be. He your, did your, your, I'm your internet. Yeah, sex I'm your daddy, your internet sex daddy. I was like. <laughs> he's really wow, leaning into you're it. So com- he's really leaning into it. And I was like, "Damn, bro, you just said that right on national television, mm-hmm. on the red carpet, on the red carpet." Oh, no shit. Yeah. And this this girl that's interviewing was just like, <laughs> "She's like, did you know?" That? He's me. like, "Yeah, I knew." He's, yeah, he was like, "Does everybody did you know that, that be- your daddy?" And I was like, "Okay, first off, don't say that." And, <laughs> yeah. then, like, and then him going into it saying, "Yeah, I am your internet sugar daddy." I was yeah. Like, yeah. Okay, I was like, I was not. He's like Oberon, that. right? From like, <laughs> whatever. Yeah, wow. it was. Insane. I only know him as like Mandalorian and Oberon. I just know him from The Last of Us, only, and I haven't even watched it. I just know that that's, that's so he's long. Just that going first episode everywhere. Oh, Last of Us. Yeah, it's yeah, like an hour I, and a half. It, well, I thought it was like I'm gonna walk. It's just it's like Walking Dead, right? Yeah. You know, but it's fucking drawn out, man. It's a slow burn, dude. I'm like, yeah, it got a lot of good reviews, and I'm like, I'm not saying I, it sucks, but it's a I lot. Loved, I love the game. I think this this is like a storyline that goes really well with game setting because you could draw like right. draw, a long drawn out storyline is good for a game. Obviously, you got to keep the sure. keep the players yeah. going. But I didn't know how it was going to translate to a TV show. It's a TV show, right? Yeah, it's, on, it it's on HBO. Well, it's it's it says it says it like episode one, but it was yeah. two hours long. Yeah. I'm oh, like, so it's like a mini series, <laughs> right? I guess. Uh, so, dude, it's so long. It's so long. Yeah, I'm not I gonna watch it. I'll just play you, the video. Game. Well, Did we even asleep? get to any of the monsters? No, right? No, no. There's no monsters. I fell yet. asleep and woke back up, and it still had 45 minutes. Yeah. Like, Jeez. Yeah. I was wondering that. I was wondering because I haven't seen because it's been out for. Couple weeks now. Yeah, I think came out last week. I think the next episode's out tonight. That's oh, okay. It, okay, is it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I I haven't seen anybody talk about like any of the the clickers because there's like yeah they're they're not yeah, the, or they, the they, they just left uh, the wire or whatever you guys you know they left the they're that, they're going the out to the city the now, right? so yeah I imagine we're gonna see monsters like the little girl was like yeah I guess we will eventually I, well, yeah, she's I like mean, look I'm fine and that was yeah I was gonna say I mean if they're going with like the video game immediately I mean immediately when you when they leave the 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 town yeah they're it's infested the whole the whole city is infested oh well, then I guess we'll clickers. get that tonight well then so uh, hopefully hopefully uh, and I mean there's a lot of build up to get to that the clickers yeah. in in my opinion I mean I don't know if you guys know what they are I don't I think you did a, a, I, I, a, a I drew sculpture one. oh yeah I sculpted one yeah I was gonna say I saw <laughs> one over there holy shit I'm like I'm <laughs> yeah not even talking I about. saw it I saw it early and I was like oh, oh was that clicker. you brought a picture of it too you yeah. drew one too yep. yeah yeah what time he shows me this he's like yeah he's drawing some stuff we're doing some a project here at territory and he gives me a picture I'm like what the fuck is this? I have no idea. Yeah, like a dude with a lot of bumps on his head. You yeah, know, or yeah, yeah, they're like cordyceps. They're, they're infected with yeah, the cordyceps. They're, yeah, they're, uh, it's a fungus. bacteria fungus. So uh. they start looking like a flower almost, and it's so cool in the video yeah. game. At least they're really cool. Um, they look cool, and and I that's what I'm looking forward to start seeing. And and I was kind of with the show being out for a hot minute now. I was right. like, why haven't I seen anything about yeah. the clickers? I haven't seen like any makeup. I don't know if they're doing makeup or if they're going to do special effects like like. Camera magic and stuff I like that. I think it's it's a combination. So I oh god, I hope not because those <laughs> yeah. those that, that's a really easy look to do with really cool practical effects, and I'm yeah. kind of hoping that they yeah. stick with that. But who don't knows? go World War Z. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, do god, not go fuck, World War Z. Did you guys hear that they're doing the second film for that? Yeah, <sighs> I did. It's, it's going to be so Brad Pitt's not in it, but his Good. Infinity Good. Scarf <laughs> is. The Good. scarf is still alive. No, scarf is the star. I didn't like that movie. There's a CG artist right now going, "Fuck yeah, <laughs> yeah. I just, I'm, just getting, I'm getting paid. One hundred percent. How many yeah. zombies you want? Literally, got unless oh, it's Disney, because then they're like, we're going to pay you a fourth, and you need to have it done in <laughs> yeah. yesterday, right? Uh, I mean, uh, so surprising. anyway. 
<laughs> uh, so the theme of this episode oh, is... Oh, yeah, we got way off track. Sorry. We got yeah. we got hard off track. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It's so fine. the theme of this, this episode... This, this episode's a fever dream. So. It is. It, <laughs> oh. You know what it is. Look at that. Um, it is... We're, we are calling it, I will speak to them in dreams and omens. Yeah. Which yeah, is yeah, a yeah. reference, by the way. I ripped that line off. It's not mine. I ripped it off from um, <laughs> from uh, Clash Wait. of the Titans. Oh yeah, love, yeah, that I love is. Clash of the Titans. I was getting ready to say, I go, my I, I was thinking, are loyal. When you sent that to me, right, and I'm, I'm sitting there looking, at it, I'm like, all right, this is from a movie that I'd never fucking heard of because this is that's, yeah. that's the classic yeah. Wolf Tummy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or oh, it's the oh, it's a demon spawn of uh, you know, <laughs> yeah, of Sicily. I'm like, I've never seen <laughs> that. I've never seen it. <laughs> demon spawn of Sicily. <laughs> <laughs> but t- Clash of the Titans, I love Clash. Yeah, yeah. Clash of the Titans. Yeah. So right. um, and basically, what we're gonna do is kind of do a little round robin and i have also some listeners who sent in their dreams we're going to do like a quick uh recap of some of our most potent nightmares Mm -hmm. that have stayed with us in our lives yeah and then we'll do a little analysis uh, i mean with our limited (laughs) our our limited knowledge (laughs) knowledge and and ability so don't yeah take this with a grain of salt but we'll give you our interpretation what that dream means i I love dream interpretation stuff right i do too because i try to yeah yeah, and it's it's i'm either dying or i'm gonna be rich it's one or the other man it's like okay always (laughs) or mine's always like when i go and i'm like i lost my 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 teeth in this dream and they're like you're just worried on time and i'm like what? That doesn't ever. Uh, I was like, no, I think I just don't want to be ugly. You, <laughs> I was like, have, you, have you done that? Have you lost your teeth in a dream? Because yeah, I fucking always, have. Always. Okay. Like, I have that. Holy shit. It's, it's not like something that happens a lot, but yeah. I, it happens a lot of the time when I'm stressed out, mm. especially like when I remember during filming the Dragula, mm-hmm. I used to have a constant dream of me losing my teeth for yeah. some reason. And I was like, and eventually I was like, I need to see one of your guys' phones. I talked to production. I was like, I need to see one of your phones. I'm not going to yeah. cheat or anything. I just need to look up something. And I looked up what <laughs> it means to lose your teeth in dreams and, sh- and shit like that. And I guess it's like you're you're worried about your time management <laughs> it's and, and, and you're what? under pressure. And I was like, <laughs> where did that come from? Why yeah. is it that me Someone losing about as qualified as I am actually wrote that. I'm fair. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And I was, I was like. like what? And, that's and what that's you like, do. And that's so like I've dreamt that over. I've had more teeth. So that's oh, wow. Oh, like I actually maybe, look at like a Cheshire cat vibe. Uh, yeah. Oh, a fucking Twisty the Clown or some yeah. shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> teeth Damn. on teeth. Yeah. Ooh. All right. <laughs> yeah. Or like the Smile Monster. Oh Have yeah, you seen yeah. Smile mm-hmm. yet? I I know the monster. Yeah. The, yeah. yeah. And but uh, God, I, that's my. I haven't watched the movie all the way through. I've seen like seventy percent of it. Yeah. How do you watch seventy percent of a movie? I don't know. Um, because <laughs> I have a dog that's. <laughs> oh yeah, I, you do. Because last that's podcast, thirteen weeks, it was old. A, a creep cast we had here uh, with Linnea Quigley. Yeah, yeah. Well, you brought uh-huh. Paolo. Oh God, yeah. That was oh, interesting. I know you studied a brain for me to see. I haven't seen. Well, him. he'd be on the table right now. He would, he be, would be over up. there. He'd be up, he'd, he'd, he'd <laughs> he everywhere. was in love with Jay. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. He was like but Jay had all the snacks, so yeah. Jay had like most of the um, yeah. treats. But. That dog has some energy. I don't know how you doing, dude. That, that, who? Even more today. The best the best was this. Okay, so this dog is running around. Well, I guess we'll get to the dream in a second. Yeah, yeah. Going crazy during our, our podcast. And, yeah. uh, of course, he, Wolf told me he's on the mic for every, maybe every five minutes. Of, yeah, and he's going to yeah, chase he's him. worried. Yeah. And then we get done, and Callie, uh, Miss Callie Marie was on this thing, and he, mm-hmm. she was like, don't worry. He'll calm down about age two. And the look yeah. on, on like, Franco's face, face, he's like, like, I got two more fucking years of this? Yeah, yeah dude. <laughs> <He's> like, what? <laughs> How much of my life is going to be drained in these two years? <laughs> dude. So there's a cheat code to this. So if you if you do get him uh, cut, uh-huh. he, he, will, he will slow down. But I heard that with Dalmatians, if you get them cut, uh-huh. it makes them bigger. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah, like they get supersized. My, my, Someone listening could probably be like, that's yeah. bullshit. But somebody told me, like, if you, when you get their ball snipped, yeah. that something, some kind of weird thing happens and they get, like, all big. And that's why when you see, like, a really big, heavy Dalmatian, like, really? not fat, but, like, a giant just, one. Yeah. It's because, yeah. Is uh-huh. it just Dalmatians? Or? They just told me Dalmatians. Oh, okay. I yeah. Yeah. Because, huh. I mean, I have a hound dog and we got him cut and he didn't change it. He, he got, he really, he was as wiry and as crazy as Palo. Yeah. And then just went to total chill mode. Yeah. So, but. Huh. Yeah, it's a different type of dog too. Yeah, I think yeah. it's because he's like young. You know, oh, he's a pop man. Yeah, yeah. he's because yeah. he's, he's he's learned so much. Like if I'm like, yeah. hey, no, like there's so much stimulus in here, and him seeing all this shit. And yeah, it's a, it was his first time it, out it's ever. It's a playground. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah plus point. there's a giant, there's tons of monsters and like little colors and, yeah. and shit like that. And, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah he I mean, was scared that, of the. That's um, me when I walked in here for the first time. I'm just running around. Like Melda, stop, slow down. I'm actually impressed. I literally thought when you leave, I'm like, I'm gonna walk around the store because I'm gonna find a big pile of shit. 
so much. Oh, I, he yeah, won't. Yeah, do I did. It was it was clean. It yeah, was he won't. He, he, he will only that. pee this and shit outside. Is clean. I love it. <laughs> this store is clean. Yeah, <laughs> Put him in the water. <laughs> oh, um, so okay, who wants to go first with their dream, and then we will talk about your dream and Frank, figure it out. I think you should go first. Should I go first? Yeah, you should go first. Okay, so wait, I've heard about your dream. No, that I was thinking of the shrimp. Full of diaper. That was yeah, a diaper movie. Full of shrimp. Yeah, that was. So, yeah, um, yeah. well, I've had a recurring dream, and I haven't had this dream in a while. But I started having it. It was really little, mm. um, probably like six, seven. Yeah. Okay. And I had it all the way up until I was in college. And the dream, I, it's exactly the same every time. So I have it memorized because it's the same thing. Mm-hmm. So I'm, um, I'm looking through my own eyes. I'm sitting in a like a recliner's chair. Okay. It's in a den with river rock on one wall. Okay. So it's like a den, like I have a den, right? Yeah. Right. At the end of the den, um, there's like it's you could tell that like the sun's kind of coming in. There's windows, and then we have one of these big old, you know, those big circle gaudy clocks that Ooh. are like with all the gold swirly shit. Yeah. yeah, yeah there's yeah. one, and I'm watching TV. I'm sitting there, my kids. I've got a boy and a girl. They're running around back and forth okay. playing. Holy shit! Is this you a are you a dad in this? Yeah, I'm looking <laughs> through the eyes of. I'm looking. I started dreaming this as a little kid, but I'm looking through the eyes of a grown man. Uh-huh. So I'm sitting there watching the television. It's black and white. Um, I hear a horn honk, and I know that it's my wife. Wow! I get You're up straight in this. <laughs> yeah, that's the big. Right? That's, the, that's the nightmare of this all. So, so, I know, so I know that it's my wife. I get up. I step. I walk over to my right, and the den goes up. So there's like about six inches up because it's like kind of in the ground. Yeah. Go up, and the bathroom is right there. The bathroom light is yellow. Like it's the rest restroom is yellow. I can see the light coming out. Yeah. My kids oh. run past me. Walk into the kitchen. There's an island. There's a door that leads out into the driveway in the kitchen. What? And I see my wife drive up in a station wagon, green with wood paneling on the side. Okay. Oh, fuck. Damn, I don't remember her face, school. though. She uh, has was it grocery- Beverly D'Angelo? Dude, well, okay. yeah, right? <laughs> the, 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 the car sounds familiar. Yeah, right? yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, so yeah. then she, she um, there's uh, groceries. So she needs help with groceries, right? Uh-huh. So the kids are like running around being annoying as children are. Yeah. Um, and I go, I'm helping her with the groceries. Mm-hmm. Then I realize that my wife is talking to the um, babysitter. So the babysitter was there taking care of the kids. And right. there too. Okay. And I'm there. And then I, and then I <laughs> panic because my wife's talking about shit to the babysitter and, I, and they're walking in slowly because like, there's like a step down from uh, the kitchen. Right. Like two concrete steps. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And I run in past them. I run into the bathroom. I, in the bathtub is full of um, bath water with suds. I stick my hands into the water and I fill my son's arms. He's under, oh, he's under the water. Oh my God. And he's, a, he's a baby. What? And then I wake up. What? Yeah. what Dude, f- that just got wild so quick. This <laughs> is like a parallel universe, right? Yeah. Once again, you got a you got a wife, right? Yeah. You're you got kids. Yep. And then you kill them. Okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But wow. like, so I think that in my dream, the babysitter was giving my son a bath, and I know, by the way, him? that it's my son. In my dream, I know it's a baby yeah, boy, like even everybody... though I never see him. Oh, I I just really? feel him under the water. Oh. I feel his, and I feel the heat of the water on my hands. Yeah. So I feel his little baby arms, and then I wake up. So, oh um, but I know that she was giving him a bath wow. and I, th- and, and the dream when I realized that she left him in the bathroom, mm-hmm. that's when I run in ahead of my wife. Really? Yeah. That's my, that's what? my recurring oh. dream, dude. That is fucked. When, I ha- like, so this, when's the last time you had this? Uh, Has it been like long, long, long time ago? Or? Well, it was, it was when, so, uh, uh, God, yeah, it's been a while. Yeah. I was having it like a lot. Right. Uh-huh. I mean, not like, you know, five times a month or anything. Right. But I was having it multiple times a year. Yeah. And then when I got into college, I was still having it. And I haven't had it since then. Really? But I mean, I had it at least 50, 60 times. Yeah. Same Holy dream. Shit. Yeah. Yeah. Because when I was a little kid, I would have it a lot. See, See this is what I want. I want the, uh, the, uh, the audience, I guarantee someone knows what this means already. Yeah. You know? I, I kind of have. Maybe what I'm going to take into this, yeah. Mm. But I'll let you keep going. What you no, uh, my next question was, "What's the babysitter look like?" But that's oh yeah, because I'm a pervert. <laughs> I don't, <I'm> weird. <laughs> all right, all right. I, anyway. Well, like the thing is, everybody's <laughs> faceless. Like obviously, because yeah. I'm like, it's you're, it's you're that weird thing on your, yeah. where my vision is like this. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I'm putting my hands up to the listeners. That's very similar. <laughs> but He's got I only see like that kind of like tunnel um, vision. It's yeah. tunnel, tunnel vision. That's yeah. very similar to what mine is, and I'll go into mine in a minute. But do you think maybe? But I can see things clearly. Yeah, I can see that stupid big giant clock. Really? Well, I, I can see I the television. Heard, you know? I have heard with like lucid dreaming or like very vivid dreams that faces and 
and writing and time and shit like that mm-hmm. or anything that's like real detail oriented, mm-hmm. we tend to block out because mm-hmm. it, we know we're dreaming in yeah. our head. Yeah. But in that moment, we don't know how to get out of the dream. So like it's very common to see like if you look at like a box, like a cereal box, there will be no writing on yeah. it. Or if you look at a clock, you rarely remember what the time of the right. clock was. Yeah. Or faces, you'll rarely like you'll understand that they're a person and who they are. Yeah. But you don't understand facial features because they don't truly exist mm-hmm. in our head. Or at least in that part, we haven't filled somebody to fill that person in yeah. kind of thing. Um, Maybe. Especially like with mine. That's how mine kind of goes. Oh, man, what is this? I'm trying to, I'm trying to analyze me, it. But what it, do you think? It kind of sounds like maybe struggling with or like maybe. Okay. How am I going to put this? Like <laughs> struggling with like, something, like, or like, or like, str- you're struggling with something. Uh, maybe like maybe maybe like Poverty. worried <laughs> about maybe worry about situations that you don't have control in. Like like you know like you let the babysitter ba- bathe your child, mm-hmm. but there was something about like you not maybe being afraid of that situation where she accidentally kills them, yeah, the, and it's yeah. not in your hands. Like you you had no like control over that situation where you could change it yeah maybe the dream feels wrong. very um like 1950s by the way really oh. yeah 1950s 1960s okay so maybe mm. that's nuclear family type of stuff right yeah mm. like two nuclear kids family. yeah the, the mo- boy and a girl wife's coming on gro- groceries maybe mm-hmm. okay the fact that you're a gay man yeah, and I the fact that you're going to have I am? No. <laughs> I that, am? that that the chances of you procreating with a woman yeah. and actually having a child is probably and uh, it being successful long too. gone, right? I mean, wait, I was like six when I started having oh, this dream. Oh, oh, oh okay, but, I all mean, right. But, but, <laughs> but, my theory. Never but, mind. I mean, but maybe, I mean, did you know at a young age that you were? No, oh. no, oh, no. I, I had sex say, I with like, so many women before. Oh, I, really? I was, I was oh, dude, I was a, like what, the straight version like, of me. I was talking to Gina about. I'm like, I was like sick, psychotic, and needed to be stopped oh, for shit. sure mm, maybe it's like yeah, i was overcompensating unconsciously <laughs> like like having stress over that maybe i don't <laughs> know like being straight like like subconsciously you're you're worrying about like the pressures of being straight maybe i have no idea that maybe is, that or, is trippy. it was just the same exact it's yeah. the same it's That's like the so same weird. dream every time and my mom took me to see somebody about it yeah i mean like really? the, like a pediatrician yeah. but yeah. they were like i told the, the doctor i mean i was probably like in seventh grade and then i think the doctor told my mom like i think it's just growing pains which i don't even know what growing pains Weird. means aside from like show me that smile again i don't know what that means <laughs> yeah but what like great <laughs> all right <laughs> um uh, shout out kurt cameron but, uh, <laughs> yeah like i don't know I th- and my mom was like so then i shouldn't worry you know yeah i mean it, or he's insane okay so like yeah all my theories are out the window because you had these as a kid all right all yeah. right never mind um you're a mass murderer. I don't fucking know. <laughs> You're worried about murdering past your child. Life regression. <laughs> Someone told me they were like, maybe it's past life regression, but I don't maybe. know if that's even the thought. I don't, that's I don't, another thing, yeah. Yeah, I mean... I don't know if I really believe. Maybe in, like, you past drown. Life. Ooh, a past life. What if I am the baby? What if you're the baby? <gasps> yeah. Oh my god. Maybe you don't know that your father. You're too young to know, but maybe he. Yeah. Maybe he tried killing you. He drowned maybe a baby. Tried to kill you. <laughs> maybe, maybe this is like lost memory. The babysitter like, like, stopped him. What's, yeah. What lies beneath? He's yeah. the baby, he's the baby yeah. drowner. Yeah, he's the baby drowner. That's it. He the, okay. He tried to drown you, right? Yeah. He's like, I, I can't have. A I fuck. can't swim. I can't. You can't you swim. You can't swim. No. Oh, the babysitter. Shit. Fucking caught him. Franco, we need to talk your dad ASAP. <laughs> he pays her off him. and gives her, hey, look, you don't say oh, a fucking no. word about this. I'll give you this f- fine ass station wagon. I yeah. <laughs> you need to go back and look at pictures of the old if, 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 your, if your old man actually had a station, had a station wagon. wagon right. You need to be afraid right now. Because you, you, if not, I'm writing this down as yeah. I'm, I'm making a movie. Right. This is awesome. Oh, shit. That'd be amazing. <laughs> like that a, was mine. Maybe the listeners, you yeah. know, they can kind of. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Add someone else. They there. can interpret it. Yeah. yeah please interpret this. Because we're just. We're just kind of figuring this as we go, but maybe you guys will have more time to think about it. Yeah, maybe you guys have. I'm actually going to write a book though about dreams because you can get away with anything. Anything. Who the fuck knows, right? Yeah. I, I, I can tell you right now. Yeah, it's uh, yeah. Okay. And, all right, good to call. Check it out on Amazon. It's coming up. Soon. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's called <laughs> all right. by Jason Schwartz. You can get away yeah. with anything yeah. in your dreams. Uh, all right, Melda, oh, what you got? Man. Okay, so yeah, mine's mine's a pretty weird one. Mm-hmm. I, I I'm gonna mine's very similar to yours mm-hmm. in a way where it kind of starts. Oh my god, out. you're obsessed with me. I'm so obsessed with you. <laughs> <laughs> um, but also in the fact that I had this ever since I could remember, uh-huh. and I remember like the latest was probably like two or three years old. So I've had this wow, like wow. ever since. And this is a dream that isn't scary, 
when you when I talk about it. But every time I wake up from this dream, I'm completely bawling my eyes out every wow. time. And like it's been like parts of times where like where I was younger, my mom was kind was very afraid of how much I was crying in my sleep because uh-huh. I would constantly have this dream where where I also had to go somewhere. They even thought that maybe. I at one point I even had to be homeschooled because they thought public school was too much pressure on me and that's why I was waking up in the middle of the night crying. Wow. Because I would literally wake up in the middle of the night saying, I can't do this anymore. I can't do this anymore. Like, it, it's mm. too hard. And I remember like waking up that one night and my mom was like crying with me. She's like, don't worry, baby. It's wow. fine. We're, and like that day, that yeah. next day, that morning, I was out of school. And, wow. I, was, and I went to, to uh, homeschool for a while. Um, but So my dream starts off very similar to yours where I it's me I'm looking in my vision everything's mm-hmm. I'm seeing in my view I'm in a chair but the whole room is white mm. completely white and it's like you can you can look as far as you can there is no walls yeah. mm-hmm. there is there's no it rarely even a floor at some points of this dream mm. but on the side of the chair there is four figures standing that are just shadows just oh. shadows of people. But I know that they're my mom, my dad, my brother, and my sister. Like, yeah. I had that feeling. But it's kind of the same thing with you. They, I don't see their faces. Yeah. And I hear them sobbing, like crying. Mm. And then there is a... All over the floor, there is newspapers, like, everywhere. Really? And my objective in this... And nobody tells me or anything... But I get out of this chair, and automatically I know my job is to pick up all these newspapers off hmm. the floor. What the fuck? But <laughs> as much as I can, as I pick up on these papers, I never see the floor. It's just they keep, like, regenerating where there's yeah. more newspapers. But I can't I, – I, I could tell they're newspapers, but I can't say what they say. Mm. Well, so this dream I never understood. That's pretty much all it is, is uh-huh. me and I'm sobbing. And but you're terrified. Like, yeah, I'm terrified, and I feel like like – and and I think that's where like when I have this dream is mostly when I'm stressed out yeah. in situations and stuff like this because this was the dream I had when I was on Dragula stuff like really? that too. Um, it, it's it's in it. It kind of makes me feel like I have like like I'm so stressed out that I can't do anything and I can't yeah. finish the task that I'm working on. Sure. Um, and so that's what I came to it. But w- the weirdest part of this dream that really freaks me out mm-hmm. was when I was in the fourth grade. It was a really special, like, special day in fourth grade. It was because we used to have these special days where we would have, like, crazy hair day or crazy hat day. Right. Mm. Pajama day. and stuff like that. Well, this day was specifically crazy hair day. So I remember, like, getting up super early this morning. I always used to love doing the mohawk, like, the multiple mohawks and spraying my hair with that colored hairspray. Mm-hmm. I go to school. Um, something happened where my mom actually picked up me and my brother early from school. Mm-hmm. And where my school is is actually where I still live. Like, uh, it's just down the street from me and the same Circle K that we were talking about earlier, like, was all right here. Yeah. Well, there's a Home Depot. And when I went, so when we got taken out of school early, my mom was like, I think my sister was sick or something. That's why she took us out early. And so my sister's at home. Me and my brother were like, oh, we'll go with you to Home Depot because she wanted to get uh, some stuff for our garden that we were doing. Mm -hmm. And so we end up, Going to this Home Depot, getting all of our shit. Well, when we were on the main road turning back into our neighborhood, we got in a huge car accident. Mm. Like, really bad car accident really? where um, our car completely like, flipped and shit. And wow. I was on the side of the car where I got knocked out, like, completely, like, knocked out cold. Damn. I, I remember, wor- or like, waking up on the actual um, street. Yeah. And some, my actual teacher was, which was weird, because at this point, school had already ended, where one of my teachers, or two of my teachers, were actually dumping ice down my shirt, telling me to like wake up and shit like that. <laughs> wow. Well, I end up like passing out again. And I remember like waking up at one point in my grandma's car, like who was taking me to the hospital. My mom was completely, she broke both of her legs, one of her arms. And my brother, his jaw was broken. And I had an extreme like, head injury yeah. i remember seeing blood all over me there's like a huge scar on my forehead like from where i got hit and shit like that it was so weird but the next time i w- remember waking up was in the hospital room and this is where it gets weird mm-hmm. i wake up sitting up yeah in like a chair it, it, which which was like the gurney thing right yeah i see my mom my dad my brother and my or no i thought it was my mom it was actually my grandma mm-hmm. my grandma my my dad my brother and my sister because my brother was i guess he was fine but they were standing on the side of the the gurney thing yeah. and they're crying 
And then I looked down, and since we were at a children's hospital, the tiles on the floor was was stories. Ooh, was like children's stories written on the thing. So it was like Little Red Riding Hood, yeah. all that shit, like poems and shit like that. And, but the whole room is white. Yeah. But then the floor is the all colors, thing, all shit. colors like that. And wow. weirdest shit ever because it's like it matches exactly like my dream that I was having way before it way happened. Way before I was like seven or that's so nuts. Nine or ten, yeah. I think at this point. Or no, I'm fourth grade. No, way lower. Right. But like still regardless, I, I had like predicted my 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 the accent yeah. i don't know the strangest shit ever and, is, and I, it yeah. still freaks me out to this day like that i like literally saw that exact scene in yeah the way. and i don't know and i and it's kind of weird because now a lot of the times in my dreams i kind of dream of the days i'm about to have like at one mm-hmm. point when i was in school in high school i remember having a dream where i wrote the exact note down in my notebook mm-hmm. and then when i went to school the next day i already had the notes written down I don't oh. know what that shit's about. <laughs> so I feel like at some Demon. point, I feel like at some point I'm going the holy in, water. in this yeah. weird like time loop or like somewhere yeah. where I like that exit. is trippy, man. It's weird, and I I don't know. I don't I, know. I, I couldn't even. I, I don't have any analysis on this, man. Yeah, I mean, I mean the newspaper, yeah. and then you kept like you can't, you can't. I'm I thinking, can't ever I, finish the task. When I hear like, that, I think like you always talk about your co- or your uh, sorry your drag uh-huh. is. Last minutes, right? You're yes. just doing it. So I feel maybe that has something to do with it. Yeah. But then you then that all went out the window after that because everything else told me, I'm like, this doesn't make any sense. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and the thing is, is I still have this dream even nowadays. And like I said, it's when I'm in mostly like when I'm like, like when I was getting ready for Dragula, I had it one point before I left. And I feel like it's just like a lot of time when the stress builds up because I get very sure. stressed out very quickly and I do like a burnout where like I work so much, I stress myself working so hard and then I burn out and I just kind yeah. of like flop on the floor and just like give up. Like, yeah. like, and I'm and like literally like where like I just like work myself to death. <laughs> and that's the only thing I could kind of analyze the dream as like could be. Yeah. Like my dream is something like you're working way too hard. Have you something. talked to anybody about this before? Or like no, a therapist or no, anything? I I've talked to I've talked to like my friend who was becoming a therapist uh-huh. and she basically told me the same thing that like she thinks it's a lot of like the pressure Stress and, and stuff yeah. as a kid or she was saying like maybe your mind is just overworking yourself and this is the way like maybe because she was saying like maybe you don't get alerts right away in your head when you're in the moment of like Mm. hey relax a minute and so she says maybe when you dream that's the only time that those alerts process through your mind and you have this dream Mm. so i don't have anything what like an analysis yeah I do. Do you? Okay, I don't. I'm like so, fucking lost on this one. This okay, is well, crazy. Oh, there's shit, there's, there's, my there's so much to unpack in this it's one. It's a lot. Yeah. Mm. That's what I was telling you. I was like, I'm excited to say this one because every time I tell people about this dream, they're fucking just out of words. Yeah. Because yeah. it's still, it, I mean, I'm out of words half the time that I tell it. I don't, I yeah. don't fucking know. What do you so got? So what Do- I have Dr. Wolf, <laughs> yeah. Dr. Wolf. What time are you seeing here? <laughs> <laughs> shit, I'm scared. No, so uh, like for me, the thing that stands out the most about this is heartbreak. Mm-hmm. Oh. That there's a broken heart your heart is broken yeah. and your and the people that are around you their hearts are broken uh-huh. you this happened when you were little this dream and then A it lot. it mm-hmm. portentously happened physically in real life to an extent and yeah. it really mirrors that event mm-hmm. but you were dreaming it so i think mm-hmm. since we can't really figure it out but essentially now they're starting to say that essentially we just have like parallel universes to infinity right yeah. right at some point when that event occurred mm-hmm. because i think that Especially people that take like what is that a DMT or whatever they yeah, have like yeah, that yeah. kind of like uh-huh. so if there are multiple versions of you and you're somehow the essence of you mm-hmm. is really just one reflection infinitely of the same true yeah. um uh essence yeah right? yeah so yeah. it's just divided infinitely infinitely and if yeah. if that occurred but at that point in your existence because mm-hmm. time is not linear it actually moves with space so it moves down like this yeah so a lot mm-hmm. of people that have premonitions it's like a spiral down it's a spiral mm-hmm. down For that's the way time <clears throat> time moves but we see mm-hmm. it the way our brains are in a linear fashion but mm-hmm. some people can perceive time that they say that they see the future and stuff right they're yeah. essentially looking over and down into the curve yeah and their yeah. brains are perceiving it at that angle and that's where they can Holy predict the future shit. Now, mm-hmm. if you had that event occur in one of your existences, yeah. but you didn't survive, yeah. and you Ooh. died at that point, <sighs> you're, that's why your heart is broken, because yeah. you're 
you're the essence of you still Look is attached to that event. Wow. However, you be, in this reality, you made it. Yeah. No. And that's funny that you say what that the too, fuck? because the feeling when I wake up. The only feeling that I could kind of describe of how sad I am, like mm-hmm. in that moment when I'm waking up bawling my eyes out, was when we put our dog down and I truly felt like like deep sadness yeah. of like, because I've never really had like a death in the family or anything like that except for our dog that just yeah. recently passed. And that's the only time I could compare the feeling of when I wake up from those dreams, that's like that deep yeah. dread and like just pure sadness and like exhaustion. Yeah. That's what it feels like. And that and that kind of makes sense when you said yeah, that. Because you're witnessing light bulb literally. Your heart is broken in that dream because also the people that you know, even though you can't see their faces, uh-huh. they're suffering. Yeah. And that hurts you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like my heart doesn't ever get broken for myself. Yeah. But my heart gets broken for others. For right. others. Yeah. And so when they're hurting, that's that could be it, why, why I'm hurting. Yeah, yeah. The part of you that it already because everything that is happening right now has already happened and mm-hmm. will happen again. And yeah. that's why time travel is impossible. By the way, oh. if you guys want to know my my, oh, my yeah, thesis on that, I've learned saying, so much. They were saying that the I got into travel... it with Neil deGrasse Tyson. Yeah. Oh, oh wow. yeah. Geez. Yeah. But I, I shut his shit I, down. I heard that too. That like <laughs> if you were to time travel. <laughs> Even with the way that time, like you were saying, was moves and stuff like yeah. that, we would just plop into nothing. Well, like we can't time nothing. travel um, in any. You can send. So uh, they've already proven that light, um, and if you can turn light into information in a way that can be projected, mm-hmm. that is time travel. But you can't. Matter can't time travel. Yeah. Because the mat. If that was the actual thing right then we're composed of matter and all of these um these uh cells and these um atoms Mm -hmm. but if time is actually another place like say if the past is a tangible place and the future is a tangible place Mm -hmm. then these atoms that i'm i'm composed of at this moment already exist there in different places and they already exist in the future if it's a real place which means that (laughs) matter can exist exist in both simultaneously because 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 this matter, if I was to somehow try to physically transport it in time, it's already there. Yeah. It's just in other parts of the universe. Yeah. What the fuck? Holy shit, we're getting what, so what, what, what podcast <laughs> what am I app- fucking I on know. here right now, Holy, <laughs> Holy shit. Jesus. He, by the way, he deleted my comment. Oh, of course he did. <laughs> wow. I, yeah, because he was for like... For real? Yeah, for real. He, yeah. he deleted my comment on YouTube. That, that was an L on his part and a yeah. W for yours. I got 1,000 plus <laughs> likes, but then he deleted it. So. <laughs> we... Oh. Yeah. Damn. Don't delete the comments. Dude, that's a so The point of this dream is don't delete the don't comments. Delete don't delete the comments. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, anyways, so that's why time travel is actually impossible for <laughs> any so. matter. Matter can't time travel. I can't believe we yeah. just we solved this. Okay, this is I amazing. Know. <laughs> this is awesome. Holy shit. Okay. Wow. Yeah, that's that's um, that's, that's, that's a I guess good, me? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, go for it. Um I, I I don't. I hardly. I hardly ever dream anymore. Which is your, your dreams should be fucked up. I'm so, really thinking you've seen some shit. Yeah. Right, yeah. So yeah, okay, let me back up. Like, decade ago, mm-hmm. uh, back when you know, once again, I've done a couple of war deployments and you know uh-huh. had some stuff. But yeah. uh, and I don't count those because I've had dreams, and mainly those dreams are. Uh, I just can't get an extract. In other words, I'm with my team. We can't get it. It's time, and no one's calling on the radio. No one's answering the radio, yeah. and now right. I'm in the middle of like Iraq. And I need to in a city, and I can't, you know. But that's yeah. that's anxiety. That's shit like that. I don't yeah. count that. I do have a dream that I've had fucking multiple times. Now look, I'm a I'm a I'm a military freefall parachute instructor. I've have over three thousand parachute jumps, right? Yeah. High altitude. I've jumped at you know at twenty five thousand feet. I've done all this. I am when it comes to that stuff, I'm never scared of heights. But you put me on a three story building on a ledge, Ooh. and I'm a I'm a big pussy. Yeah. Okay? I'm, no, I, I feel I, that. There's something about. Where you know at thirteen thousand, twenty thousand feet, it just looks different. It looks like a map. I'm yeah, fine. Yeah. You know, I'm no, I'm not, I've zero fear. But right. you put me on a ledge. On, I'm, oh, like, Ooh, yeah. I went to the Grand Canyon. I, I had anxiety, bro. Really? I was, yeah. no, I, I was yeah, like, yeah. and not me, but I'm watching like a little kid play near the edge, and I'm like, fuck, Holy fuck. Yeah. you know. So, but the dream I have, and it, okay, this is dumb because I've never been on a New York skyscraper. Uh, I've never been, but you ever see like the old time. Like when they, they're building, back in the old days, right? And those guys are just sitting on the girder, you oh, know? Oh, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. that. I'm always like in a spot like that where it's like a, just a skeleton of a, you know, just steel girders everywhere. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I'm just kind of navigating through it, but I'm like, I feel like I'm like literally 17,000 feet in the air, you know what I'm saying? And I'm, and I'm, I'm getting, I'm already getting the feeling in my legs to feel yeah. this shit, right? Yeah. yeah. But I'm on, the, I'm on one girder. They like, trying to get across, and I have a handhold on one thing, but it, it's certain as I go farther, the, the handhold goes higher, and I can't reach it anymore. But I only have like ten feet to go, and it starts tipping. Oh, and I look back <laughs> right because I want to turn back, yeah. and the person there's a, someone holding their feet on that edge, and he's not being mean. He's just like, hey, they trying to make a conversation, but he's backing off and let me tip. 
and it's a guy Ugh. I've been stabbed before I've actually been stabbed twice oh. um, it's the guy that stabbed me my first time in my leg yeah and oh, it's him he's fuck. dead now though you know yeah. it's so weird but it's him and he's not like to me a dick like ha you motherfucker um, but it's like he's just like yeah whatever dude you know this and that and he starts backing off where it's going to you know, he's releasing the pressure off one end, and I'm gonna go going to go fall down. to my death. Yeah. And I fall, and I wake up, and I, yeah, you know, I'll almost kill her because I like, I'll, you know, certain. Yeah. Sorry, I kind of grab yeah. something, but <laughs> I'll grab like pillows and all this right. shit. Like, holy yeah. shit! And yeah. I wake up, and it's like, fuck, I'm sweating. Holy shit! And I've had that multiple times with that same dude. I don't know why. How did you? Okay, yeah. How? Did, oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. I have a question, but I'll, yeah. I, I can wait. No, yeah. I'm, that's it. That's literally okay. The so I have a question. Um, the guy that mm-hmm. stabbed you. Yes. How did that come about? It was a fight. And he just oh. decided to stab you because you guys were fist fighting? Uh, we were fist fighting. I was on top of him and I was I was winning really well. And he took a knife out of I don't know where it fucking came out of it. Were, were you friends? No. Okay, did you know this guy? No. Oh, it was just like a fight. It was a fight. It was. A, then, it, it started in a bar, and well, I didn't even start it. Someone else started. It. I'm outside, and you know, it was a big bar fight. Whatever, yeah, right? Yeah. And then I end up, I end up fucking this guy up pretty well, but uh, he grabbed something and he stuck it right in the inside of my knee. I still got the good scar and all that stuff. Wow. Yeah. And uh, and it it, and it you know you don't feel it at the time, but right. you just next thing you know, my pants are just full blood. of blood. Yeah. yeah. He runs away, and I'm like, that was fine. You know, you had to go to the hospital and all that shit, but it wasn't like as bad. But it was weird because I'd never been stabbed before, and I'm like, yeah. oh fuck. So I don't know why that stuck in my brain. Yeah. You know, I've been through way more traumatic shit, huh. but that one, that dude, I can picture his fucking face. Yeah. And, he, and cool. he's like, he, he, my life's in his balance. He he steps but, backwards and yeah. I fall. It's so weird. So, yeah. yeah. So yeah, I don't know what that means. Do you have anything? <laughs> Okay, oh, so I, I'm like trying this to process pretty, that because that this that's, one's pretty forward. Yeah. I mean, from in my yeah. in my interpretation, <laughs> this is um, Doctor Wolf. So, hey, how much does this cost me, by the way? Yeah. Right. Reals, <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> so, um, I this one's uh, so like I th- uh, my interpretation of this is that it's it's not super literal, but uh-huh. it's easier kind of to understand because you're in a position of vulnerability yeah. Yeah. Um, by balancing on that beam, right? right? Mm-hmm. This person has essentially all, power, all the much. power. Yeah. yeah. And it's someone that has violated you essentially. Right. Yeah. And um, not being, when you see this person and they're not trying to just, they're, they're not being mean. Right. It just shows how cavalier they were with your safety ah. in real life. I believe that this that. person stabbed you yeah, and sense. didn't care what happened to you. Yeah, like had zero. Yeah, it was in zero, front of everybody. Yeah, it was like yeah. yeah, yeah. It was, so yeah. so the 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 kind of like um him not being aggressive. Right. I th- I think is uh th- how in reality it kind of um tr- correlates just translates, to yeah, how straight to how he just, how you probably would never do that. Right. And you understand that I would not be you know it, there are rules of engagement in a fight that yeah, you adhere right. to right. Yeah. But this person doesn't adhere had, like, to those rules yeah, like, at all. Yeah, like zero disregard. That's interesting. You're yeah. probably right on that, too, yeah, man. That's sure. actually, that's probably the best analysis. Because I've tried to self analyze I mean, I've tried to look yeah. this shit up and nothing comes up. But that's actually probably makes yeah. most sense in my point. Yeah, right? that, you know? that makes a yeah. lot of sense. That's and that's why what he's, I was in, he's like ambiguous at best to your safety because, yeah. you know, you the precari- the precarity, precarity, the precarious situation that you're in by being up so high, yeah. you recognize that there is danger. And this person doesn't recognize that danger, and just like if you fall or don't, it just it doesn't matter to him. Doesn't matter because he's not the one falling. That's, uh, yeah. yeah, I like oh, shit. It makes total sense. It and uh, real here's I've been like I said, I've been, that's the first time I've been stabbed. I got stabbed in the arm too. And uh, <laughs> by the way, everybody who stabbed me has died. So fucking anybody out there, Jeez. just throw that out there. Yeah, right? don't try it. I, I live. Don't they, even they try die. it. <laughs> I live. Holy fuck! You die. The, the, actually, the guy's stabbed my arm. You're died. like the the reverse, like <laughs> or not the reverse. You're like the the, the <laughs> human uh, voodoo doll. Like, yeah. Hey, fuck America. Yeah. Horse but when you, you get stab up, wait, let me tell you that I didn't kill him either. So that's what I was that's that legal one. wise. That wasn't me. <laughs> right. They just died of other things, right? Natural causes? Uh, or, uh, uh, causes. No, we'll not that. natural, <laughs> but uh, unnatural. <laughs> uh, that's yeah, okay. Wild. So there you go. Well, that, look, I feel better now. Yeah, I do yeah, too, well, honestly. Okay. Yeah, that, that was a great segment. I like that. That was. <laughs> I have one. Well, there's a bunch, but these are all like sex people. Oh, jeez. People grow up. Just say it. Just say one. Just give us one good one. Yeah. E.T. attacked me. Okay, this is 
Duke Devil <laughs> oh, 06. Um, <laughs> E.T. attacked me while I was in my bed at night. Uh, he had glowing red eyes and claws. Okay, I can tell you what the answer That's to that just is. Your you have a problem e. with people um, coming into the country. Okay, the next oh. one is... Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, I'm just going to run... I'm going to just go through these. Yeah, Kid go. Robot 830. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, Duke <laughs> Devil. I'm just joking. That was awesome. <laughs> uh, Kid Robot 830 uh, said, I had a nightmare about someone trying to break into my house while blocking, locking the door. Um, that's just security. That's scares. just that's yeah. just like you, in your like. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> that's like a pretty. I don't know. Yeah, I'm trying to think of that. I what? mean, ho- like home, anything with like home invasions and shit like that just means like you have like um, zero control. Like that's just something you don't have control over, and kind of like fighting for. I'm gonna just talk about safety, the daddy issues. You got daddy issues. Yeah, daddy all right, issues. We all have yeah. daddy issues. Period. <laughs> um, and then I'll just go with one more. Uh, Nino Ziz. OSD. Yeah. So actually, uh, I know this guy. Um, I went on their podcast oh, nice. in sick. San Diego. They have like the biggest uh, LGBTQ podcast. Oh, love. Um, and his says had sleep paralysis with a green demon looking like seventies animated Smeagol on my chest. Fuck. Oh. <laughs> so, That's wow. Seventies animated Smeagol. Is that like the Lord of the Rings that was like the animated thing by? I think so. Yeah, Maybe? I don't Smeagol? remember. I don't know what Smeagol looks like. I don't, like I don't know what Smeagol is, but it's like the Lord a green of the... demon on your chest. That's and, and it's terrifying. It's, oh fuck! Yeah, um, and now and it's sleep paralysis. He says, right? That's what sleep uh, paralysis. Just, sh- that's like that's crazy. That's some crazy shit. I've only had that happen to me once, and I was absolutely petrified. I, I've never. I think had I, that. I don't know if I've disclosed this to you. Yeah, I think I have. But you guys know that I take medication, right? Because I have night terrors. You tell me you have night terrors. I used to. As I didn't well. know you have to take medication. I had really yeah. bad night Because I'll get up well. and I'll just run out of the house. Yeah. I oh, used really? To do, yeah. I used to do the same thing. I also used to be a very uh, bad sleepwalker. And mm-hmm. I took that. I take that after my mom because my mom used to like. She walked out of like her whole apartment building, like went oh. down an elevator and everything down into ice. Like wow. now I did the same thing where I walked out like completely out of our house and I was trying to get into our um, our car. And really? I was saying that I was late for school, uh, <laughs> but like like that shit like that happens. But I always had really bad night terrors, so I had to be on medication for all. Yeah, this I got really? yeah. hypnosil. Mm-hmm. No, <laughs> is that what they take on Dream Warriors? <laughs> yeah, I think it is. Uh, oh yeah, this experimental drug. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but uh, yeah. So uh, I I don't know. That's a weird one um, because every, like. Uh, what is the green demon? Because green... that's like a common visual for right. people that have a uh, sleep process. Uh, they see a demon. It's a demon. Right. Yeah, and. Wow, but green. Like green. What's the green? That's, no, that's new because like I'll I'll hear about like the pale man Jealousy? or, or, or the, like the, the gray, hat man, the hat man, or the guy. I've or seen the, the black. hat. I've seen the hat. Yeah, man a lot of people before. have seen the hat man. I've seen a hat man before, and that was the one time I I was in Washington when this happened, and mm. this is when my grandpa was dying mm-hmm. or my great grandpa was dying, and uh, I'm in their spare bedroom. And, and this mm-hmm. was his room at one point. So I also thought that maybe he was haunting my ass because he didn't want me to swim <laughs> or something. But uh, I woke up completely like in – I woke up because I felt a bead of sweat down my neck. And I'm like – I'm a pretty light like sleeper. Uh-huh. So like like even to the point like um, a few days ago, we have we were having a really bad ant problem. Uh-huh. And I woke up and there was a little ant on me and I like completely woke up and I couldn't go back to sleep. That's how like light of a wow. sleeper yeah. I am. Wow. A little ant on my on my arm, so I felt a bead of sweat down my neck, and I freaked out because I'm like, "Oh, something's like something on top of me or something." Mm-hmm. No, I was just drenched in sweat, and I tried looking at it, and I couldn't. I was paralyzed, like completely paralyzed. Yeah, I couldn't take the blanket off me. I couldn't move my fingers. It even it felt like if like. You know, like when you are sitting on the floor or something and your leg falls asleep, that weird tingly feeling. Yeah. And like how it, it's so yeah. uncomfortable. That's what my whole body felt like. Mm. So like I, I was so scared in that moment. I look in the fucking doorway and I see a fucking guy in a hat. And that's mm-hmm. it. It's the just a guy in a hat. Oh. And you can – and the only thing I could visually like make out of his feature was a nose. Yeah. Like I could just see like the highlight of his nose and I – Freak the fuck out. And the only thing else I can remember happening was I managed to close my eyes and then and then I wake up the next morning and I able that the fucking thing was it was my coat that was hanging on the back of the door. <laughs> uh-huh. And what what was making it look like a hat was the 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 thing that holds my 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 coat yeah. kind of like protrudes out a little bit. Uh-huh. So it kind of looked like the brim of the hat. Um but dude fucking terrifying that shit was like, scared that, that yeah. scared yeah. the fuck out of me I'll go to sleep and Gina she'll like do a laundry and she put it on the bed right she had to put it away yeah. I'm, I'm so fucking lazy Jesus I just literally I'm like I'm, I want to sleep I just pile yeah. up throw it on the dresser <laughs> yeah exactly right? but I, dr- I do it like 
sometimes it's a lot, and it's like now it's like a six foot man. You yeah, know? yeah. You hit that light off, and you're just like, fuck, what I just yeah, do? Yeah, if this yeah. thing fucking moves, I'm yeah. just gonna die. Yeah, <laughs> <That's laughs> oh, right. Fuck. Isn't oh, that man. funny what our brains do? Yeah, I don't know what the ourselves. green demon. Uh, look, uh, get therapy. No, I don't. I, I think that it me. I, I mean, I it's weird know, I mean, because I'm being thrown by the whole kind of the fact that it's like very specifically Smeagol. Yeah, I'm <laughs> thinking you're just really afraid of Smeagol, and you had a sleep paralysis episode, and you just in, intertwined sleep. the two. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know because I think like uh, like sleep paralysis is pretty different than dreaming. I yeah, think. I don't like, know. I, I think it like takes a different part of your brain and everything when you're dreaming. To get yeah, to I just think like, it means paralysis. that he probably has like uh, unresolved fisting issues or something. Oh yeah. wow! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, well, there you go. <laughs> are you? No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding, kidding, dude. Just, He's a friend of mine. I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> we all kid here. <laughs> you have daddy kidding. issues. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah daddy I don't issues. Talk about daddy issues. It's all daddy issues. I don't make the rules. Sorry. I don't. Yeah, right. For reals. So yeah, yeah. You know, that's it. That's those are the. Those are the. Yeah, those are our dreams. That's some wild oh, shit. That is some wild what, stuff. I'll ask you guys this. Um, kind of with omens and stuff mm-hmm. like that. What is something in your guys' life that like you guys see constantly and it doesn't mean like a good thing in your eyes? Like doesn't something that's a, uh, yeah. Because like for me, I have <laughs> for me it's empty uh, wallet. <laughs> an empty oh, wallet. No. Yeah. No, this this is a <laughs> for me. I constantly see the number three. Oh really? Yeah. yeah. When something like something bad, or like when I get like a bad phone call, or like if I know I'm just gonna have a bad fucking day, things either happen in three, or I just see constantly the number three. Yeah. I well, don't know why, but that's the, that's the that's mocking of the Holy Trinity. We just talked about it, right? yeah, so. or it's the Holy Trinity itself trying to get a hold of you. Oh yeah. True. <laughs> true. Like, yo, <laughs> like <laughs> Melo, we gotta talk. Yeah. Right. We gotta oh. <laughs> see what happened last night. Yeah. 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 Woo. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> or or um the color purple. I don't know what. Yeah, the movie. Oh no! Oh, no. I see the. Color. Oh, I'm sorry. I, thought, I, I, I literally no, thought you were talking oh, about the movie. I thought you were dead ass joking. I was like, yeah, the color purple. No, uh, ain't no, no like, mountain, um, ain't no sea. When I when I turn like my head and I'll blink, I'll see just purple. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then I'll know like something like an weird. aura. Yeah, and, it, and I and I get like a weird feeling, and I know like I need to get out of that situation. The yeah. only the only time that I've had that happen and I've been right was I was on the freeway and I was going. I don't remember where I was going. I think I was going to Santan. Mm. So pretty far out. An hour like in something away from me. Right. Yeah. And um, I remember like turning to look behind me to change a lane. And I remember just seeing straight purple and getting this really weird feeling. So I got off the next exit. Well, when I left Santan earlier that day and I was going back, I decided to go back on the freeway. And right when I got off that exit, there was a huge fucking car exit. Mm-hmm. So I don't know if that was Maybe my brain telling me I needed to get the fuck out of there. But <laughs> like, <real>. anytime <laughs> now I see either the color purple or three and I'm driving... I need to pull over. Or I need to go to a gas station. I need to do something. I need to get off the road. You need I some primary like, colors. Yeah, I need some primary in my life. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, numbers. Yeah, for real. I need to get a Red Bull. Yeah, <laughs> for real. Right. So I don't know. That's, that's the only thing that really like sticks out to me. Yeah. I don't, they're like omens. I don't think, head. I don't, obviously, obviously with all the shit stabbed twice, I, I don't pay attention to omens. Maybe I should, right? right? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I've done a lot of, yeah. No, I don't, I don't, I don't have anything. No. I, really, I don't, yeah. I don't know if this is really an omen because it's not nice. But um, so one time I we go. I went to I, I've told I've told both of you this before. Yeah. But when I've got okay. when back in the day I used to go to Charlie's. Oh yeah. Um, and uh, there was like <laughs> so in Charlie's it's a gay bar. Oh. Mm-hmm. There's um, it's like weirdly like a gay country western it's bar a gay oh, wow. that turns yeah. at like a certain time, like at ten twenty. It we just turns just into like a regular gay bar. Yeah. Oh, okay. And then all the country western people leave. <laughs> yeah. It's so fucking bizarre. They all have anyway. to go back to their wives. Yeah, they, they, that's true. <laughs> oh, yeah, they do. Oh, oh, wow. Okay. It's, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a right. thing. Brokeback so, mountain. Right. Yeah. Pretty, pretty broke back. <laughs> so they have like a food truck thing in there that mm. is on the outside, but they have like a cut hole in the wall. Uh-huh. And then the other side, there's bleachers. Yeah. What? Um, yeah. And it's, people. It's a, th- that place is a fever dream. You want to talk about a fever dream? Go to fucking Charlie's. <laughs> okay. I, first off, and I, I listen, oh. if you're listening to this and you're a local person, <laughs> Fuck off! Um, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Wow! <laughs> Fuck you! So, no. Fuck you. So I, because this is gonna be bad. But yeah. I've I've told Mel this before. Like, okay, <laughs> whenever I have been in there and I walk past those bleachers, yeah. Anybody that I see sitting there eating a fucking taco, I'm like, look at this mess. Yeah. <laughs> like, do you know what it says to the world if you're eating a fucking taco at a gay bar <laughs> a gay at bar two a.m. Bleachers on bleachers. Yeah. You've given up. Are you? Yeah. <laughs> you've given well, up. That that's. When I don't you know, care how no, good those tacos that's are. That's when you know you're that <laughs> drunk. That all your friends don't want to be by you, so they put you in timeout. They give you a talk, and they're like, "Eat this and <laughs> shut up." I, you know what? Get a, That's what happens. You're, you're, I've been you're, in that situation before. Girl, 
you're sexless. <laughs> you are you are sexless. Yeah, I won't say that far, but because it's like I'm well, I'm, I'm not having sex. That's true. With you're... anybody that's eating a fucking sloppy taco. <laughs> I don't I, like in the words of uh, fucking Rose McGowan. I don't care if there's a fucking four star culinary masterpiece on the other side of that wall. Yeah. I'm not eating a fucking. <laughs> It's just, and I always go like, look at this mess, look at this rabble. Anyways, yeah, though, that's why there's I'll one catch, twink. You'll never catch me at. There's parties. one. Yeah, <laughs> there's one twink that I saw that had like just like like a, a ugly look on his face. Yeah, and he was eating like a eating something <laughs> with sour cream. And I have also, seen that also, twink also. Don't eat at Charlie's. Don't eat it. Don't you're, eat at any you're, gay bar. You're be- yeah, yeah, let's just go there because you're begging for food poisoning the morning after. Yeah. Oh really? Okay, yeah. dude. Don't ever. I mean, I, I, will drop I would just dead say that regardless of any bar, but don't like, put food in my mouth. Don't, don't don't go to a gay bar and look for food. It really, it's okay. just, dude. No, but I, here's the deal. I hear the tacos are really great. <laughs> like <laughs> they might be great, but but, you but might I, not would be never, that great I would never. I would never. Uh uh-uh. uh. There's, there's no. a cook at Charlie's right now. Like, God damn it, God, man. Fuck, these fucking, yeah. <laughs> fuck these guys. Probably or like the, any of the directors I've worked with over at Charlie's. They're gonna mm-hmm. listen to this and I'm like, they're done. They're, I'm ne- they're never over, setting foot done, in this canceled. bar again. <laughs> so the thing is that twink, that specific one twink, yeah. I have seen that guy at least 15 times. Oh, yeah. And the moral of the story is I never went back to Charlie. It was I don't me. Go, I don't go anymore. It, <laughs> it was, was you. Me. <laughs> but like, I've seen we, him everywhere. I, I, in in places that are random. Like, really? I'm getting my tires changed. Yeah. Oh. I'm, um, yeah. like, do you know what I mean? Like, weird shit. Do you like, know his Instagram? I need to. I don't I, even know who oh, this person fuck. is. And you I always what? feel like he doesn't, he has to recognize me because we see each other so often. Unless he's that gone that he doesn't. I don't even know. But I've seen him in weird places. <laughs> yeah, that's like, funny. He's your my, oven. He's, he's your oven. The yeah. omen is don't go when, over to when Charlie's. When you, when, you see, when you see that twink <laughs> running around, you need, to go, you need to go the other way. <laughs> <laughs> For real. Like... <laughs> I've learned so oh, much. That's so funny. <laughs> it's Holy so fuck. fucking yeah, but like I yeah, and if I yeah. When God bless like, you if you're eating there, but I would. We were just telling Gina that we want to do the '80s uh, movie trivia mm-hmm. at Charlie's. Oh yeah, so oh, we're just gonna wow. have to bring you along so you can. Oh yeah, know we'll what fucking this place kill is. that shit. <laughs> let's roll. Let's do it. Yeah, you guys will be fine. I yeah. will be eating a taco. I tell you now. Yeah, I it's like tacos. really pedestrian <laughs> compared to like L. A. bars. Really, I fucking hate Charlie's. That is, it's a fever dream. There's so many different things going. on. It's like half tropical. It's like. Country. There's like go go boys out there go-go with water boys. pouring on them, yeah. like taking like three it's hour the, showers. It's the weirdest the shit ever, dude. It's so fucking. Everything's like wood. I remember I um my one of my friends was um I I heard that they went to the hospital and I knew that they went out that night because I got invited to they go went to, to Charlie's. Charlie's. They mm-hmm. went to Charlie's and I I decided not to go. And then I next thing I hear in the group chat is that one of my friends is going to the hospital because they sat down and got a huge ass splinter in their thigh. Mm-hmm. Oh, because everything Dude, is yeah. like unfinished wood over yeah. there. Oh. And I mean, this was rustic, like a, like a yeah. big yeah. ass fucking chunk of wood in his thigh. And I, I, can, I completely it. see that happening. Yeah. Oh yeah, because you, when you sit down, you have to go like flat down. You yeah, can't really? your hands. Oh yeah. No, dude. Well, and and his problem was is that he was trying to slide Ooh, over the don't. wood and it just went right into his thigh. Oh ah. god. Yeah. Hey, look. Well, this this segment is actually perfect because uh, yeah. I want to. We're going to uh, lead into. I want to segue yes. into um, the ask a gay guy. Ask yeah. a gay guy. Yeah, yeah. 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 Ask yeah. the gay guys. Oh, yeah. Excited. Or how? What is it? Ask the gays or ask the gay guys? Ask the gay guys. Okay, that sounds better. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So this uh, today's question. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh yeah. Is brought to you by me <laughs> uh, because. I need some I need some vocabulary, okay? Oh. So, like, you guys talk twinks, and I'm like, yeah, I, yeah. I'm all shaking my head and laughing over here. I don't know what the fuck you're talking oh, about. I think I, I know what a Twinkie is, um, and those are delicious. Well, that's but, basically what it is. Oh, okay. That's basically what it comes but from, what is some from terminology? What is, like, in the gay world, like, for different, I mean, is, is there different, like, you know, I don't know. Is it, like, I, you say twinks. Is there, I also heard of a... Um, Oh, fuck a bear? No. Bear is a bear. Yeah, bear. Bear is the opposite of a twink. Okay, so close. talk so, to me. Talk. What, okay, what, what, so Dan is like a bear. I'm a twink. Okay, I I'm basically well. But you talk shit school. about twinks. Yeah, that's yeah. It, okay, that's that what the, we do. We heard the ones we, we love. I'm we so do. confused. Yeah, because uh, <laughs> that's how I love. <laughs> yeah. Uh, basically, a twink is just a very skinny, uh, just a skinny small guy. Oh, okay. Guy. That's okay. Yeah. And they came from Twinkies because they used to just be a white. Small gay guy. That's yeah. what he used to be. Uh, oh, really? Yeah, young. Now, now, oh. yeah, young. 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 Okay. Yeah. So, uh, Twink 
is yeah me. Basically. There are some um there's some tw- there's twonks now which twonks. is Whoa. is a Whoa. twink hunk which I've been considering. It's like a hybrid. A yeah, hi- <laughs> it's in between hunk and twink and I've been I've been called a twonk. A twonk. I don't it's like twonk, that word. Yeah. I'll just be, I'll just take not, the twink. Global summer. warming. <laughs> Global warming. God. It's causing hybridization. Oh, oh my god. god. Yeah, yeah, a twonk doesn't sound very flattering. No, you know what I'm no, saying? No, no, no. A twink so, I'm like yeah, I could get with that. Okay, but if someone called you a twink, you're not offended? You're cool with that? No, I'm fine with that. That's what I consider myself. Okay. All yeah. right. And, All and right. the people, and like the people I tend to like yes. are not twinks. So there's like twinks, okay. there's, there's twinks, otters. There's okay, otters. Well, what's an otter? An otter is a furry twink. It's like a furry twink. What do you mean so furry? Like, that's like maybe like hairy. hairy. Maybe yeah. about 15 because, pounds heavier. Because bears <laughs> are usually bigger, hairy guys. Okay. That's I, why that you makes call sense. them a bear. I, mm-hmm. I kind of figured that. Yeah. Right. So, like, the opposite of a twink is a bear. And then, right in the middle, is either a twonk, which is a muscular twink, <laughs> yeah. or a otter, which is a hairy twink. Twink. Yes. Basically. Yeah. I, I, so okay. Yeah. <laughs> hair, a hairy, like hairy, like back hair or everything, just everything, just everything. everything. or just uh, yeah, I guess like hairy, like like uh, hairy chest okay. or just like in general, yeah, like facial hair. Like I know, like there's otters, like like that, like they're they're skinny guys that are masculine more because I, okay. I would consider like a twink is more feminine i got you a little okay. bit more feminine on the feminine side yeah i would say it's like so yeah. what are you wolf tummy what are you i don't, you, I don't are think you, i fit you, into you any of those no categories or nothing I don't like think that so no? if, if if anything i think i fluctuate like I'm a. I would be like a new animal. I'm like a. I'm, a, I'm like a power seal. <laughs> You're a power <laughs> seal. Oh jeez. Oh my god. Oh my god. But what about on the the female side of this? Yeah. Is there they have they have names now or no? No, no. I, not that I know of. I mean, females, n- lesbians. You mean? Yes. Yeah. yeah. No, I don't think lesbians. I mean, no, they're, they're, it's weird. They're so secretive. Yeah, it's <laughs> weird. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, because I've never heard anything about like. Dude, uh, they're the last hope for the species, by the way. Yeah. Lesbians yeah. are the shit. They really are. Yeah, yeah. They I really fucking are. love lesbians so much. Us gays are just going to kill each other. Dude. <laughs> That's what's going to happen. Cause, because we're always so like... Like, you saw that thing, right, where it broke down the spectrum of sexuality and, and who would survive the apocalypse? No. And they're like, lesbians right off the bat are, are not even considered because they will have left the planet oh, by then. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. They will have figured out how to <laughs> abandon this shit. Yeah, yeah right? Us gays, we, we like being on top like, so in... in no pun intended, but like, like, we, right. we like to be on top, so we're going to just kill each other until one of us reigns supreme. Uh, I see. But so, at that point, we're just going to kill yeah, each I don't, other. I don't, yeah, there, yeah, you know, the thing, I, so like, there's a couple things about lesbians I wanted to say. And yeah. First off, like, um, a lot of people don't know a lot about gay history, especially right. um, the younger gays. And one of the big things that people don't know about is that during the AIDS crisis, lesbians weren't getting AIDS. Right. Yeah. But they were at the forefront of pushing ACT UP. Right. And yeah. they were up they were carrying yes. so much uh burden and and contributing so much as a community when they didn't have to at all. Oh sure. yeah. 100%. Because the straight community didn't really have anything to do with us being helped. And, and it's just funny now because in the gay scene they're like women don't belong in this scene. And stuff yeah. like that. And there's a really? big there's Dude, a the- big stigma about like about about Lesbians even being in gay clubs because it's like oh, wow. it's, so what it's happened, like it has to be co- like it, it has to be separate. There has to be a lesbian club and there has to be a so, gay club. It is so weird. Well, the thing is, yeah, I, I, yeah. So the, there's a there are a couple things. First off, you know, up until um, when okay, this is kind of like the Wool and Grace phenomenon. Okay, so when Wool and Grace came out, before that, there was a shit ton of fucking lesbian bars. Shout out to Wool and Grace, by the way, they did open yeah. a lot of doors. Right, yeah, yeah, but. Yeah. There was a ton of lesbian bars. Okay. Mm-hmm. And good for them. They have a place to go to lesbians and sure. they yeah, want to yeah. hang out with other lesbians. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, after Will and Grace and that kind of melding of um, straight culture with acceptance somewhat of the first steps of gay culture, right. mm-hmm. a lot of lesbian bars. Now there's like only five on the West Coast. Yeah. If even that many, in the entire West Coast, there's only like, there's less than 10 for sure. Holy shit. And yeah. there used to be tons of lesbian bars. There's right. none here in the Valley at all. No. Really? Yeah. Now, the most I will say is Stacy's is a pretty hot spot for lesbians. It is. And I like that. But the thing but is, again, it's it's not it's lesbian, not it's specific. queer. It's queer. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Yeah. And so, so, but at Charlie's, there's no lesbians there? There's, there oh, there's is. Some, there no, is. There's there some is. fucking hot lesbians there too is. there. Okay. But the thing is, is like, the gays like, like snub their noses. Really? So like, it, it's definitely like, you have it's like this, territorial, yeah, right? Yeah, you have this yeah. corner of the book, the club. We have that corner. It, it sucks because there can never be like a mesh. Between. There's like a closet they get to. I mean, <laughs> oh boy, <laughs> they, they get to. Yeah, they get to hang out in one little spot. But yeah. yeah, there are. I mean, but it's literally not like a total lesbians. There's like one here, one there. Yeah, really? no, it's very sparse. Very yeah. sparse. And it's like they fucking you know. 
lesbians deserve the utmost respect. Sure. For reals. For yeah. reals. I love them. Yeah. I just love too. lesbians so much. I do too. I don't, I'm like really, I'm like on a lesbian high. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> they just get All shit right. Done. So I got twinks, twonks. Otters and bears, and, yeah. and then the power seal, and then the power and then the seal, power and then you seal. got you got the wolf telling me a power seal. Yeah, okay, the, uh, all right. Power but there are wolves also. Oh fuck! What's That's a, a, what's a wolf? Yeah, there's what's like a wolf? wolf. I don't. I haven't heard that. Um, I think a wolf is like a dude with like a long beard who's also hairy, but he's not a twink. He's over thirty. Gotcha. I think that's like a thing. So it's like in between like... Okay. These gays are out of control. It's, so it's, it's just another Why can't evolution? we be humans? Dude, we're like fucking Pokemons <laughs> over here. Like right, it's, different it's names, basically different evol- evolutions. Yeah. That's what I'll say. We're, we're, there's different evolutions so what, of every category. Okay, well, Pokemon good, good go off. All right. <laughs> you're 23. Yeah. Uh, bad news. You're not going to be 23 forever. No. So when you grow, when you grow out <laughs> no. of the, the twink phase, uh-huh. what are you going to go into? Probably the... Well, there, there's also like <laughs> hunk too. They use a lot of hunk. Really? Mm-hmm. That's what I realistically I would consider you that mm. if you don't want to go with the power what do you power, power seal, seal. Power seal. <laughs> I'll, I'll say that sounds, realistically that sounds pretty cool he's hunk because you're not like you're not bear oh, like a sea lion but you're, oh, you're yeah. a sea lion yeah <laughs> um, probably like I don't know I, I feel like the twonk I, I feel like the twonk category that's where the twink has evolved kind of thing because it's like that's yeah. like the older twink so you can go in the 30s you can modify yeah, okay. yeah. The, one thing about um the gays is like every spectrum of age we will sexualize it really <laughs> until 100 like there will be yeah until you're like an old guy okay that's not, there's but, still a fetish for yeah, that too yeah and i was about really? to say too but the, also the thing we is with the gays it. too is like there's like uh, like I don't know, like thirty-six year olds that I know that consider themselves still twinks. Mm-hmm. So okay. it's like no matter Hang, what, hanging on. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like no matter what, I that's think, called delusion. Yeah. <laughs> that's just delusion. Literally, that's what what's it an is. old like yeah. silverback guy? You know, I don't know. I'm fucking I'm making. I'm making up. You just, you just made it up. Daddy, yeah. we're gonna call him. No, daddy. Daddy. Okay, that, those are that's daddies. Daddy. Daddy's big. When we were just talking about that earlier, daddy. Yeah. That's like a big thing. Like daddies are like, what would you say, like forty-five and yeah. up? Yeah. Like forty-five and up. I fucking is like, hate. I mean, I hate. I, I don't like it, but then Dan will say some shit just to get under my skin because I'll be home working or do some shit and he'll be like, he'll call and he'll be like, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, yeah, like wonkity wonk. Yeah. And then he'll be like, yeah, well, like daddy's had a long day. He's on his way home. I'm like, oh my oh, God, go God. fuck it, And I'm like, fuck it, off. It's, 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 you know what? You know I don't you, like that. Find, find somewhere else to sleep tonight. You're uh, not coming yeah, home. You're not right. coming I'm changing home. the lot. <laughs> Look, I, uh, I learned something tonight. Yeah. yeah. What, way I, better than my last question. My last question is last. No, that's uh, that was a good one too. <laughs> and we didn't even get to the bisexuals. <laughs> oh fuck! Oh, Jeez. we're not going there. We're category. not going there. Right. We're not going we're there. Not, uh, we're I, not going they, there. Do, do they have? <laughs> oh fuck! All right, whatever. <laughs> the bisexuals are the ones who just can't come out. Well, they're the ones. You think that, so? They're, they're yeah. the ones that leave. Just Charlie's. The ones, dude, I'm so they're confused. The, Even bi- now? the bisexuals. I always say. I said bisexuals are the ones who were too scared to come out. Dude. So they'll just say, "I like both." It's easier than having to come out. You know, it's like okay. in my opinion. That's what I think. But they're but they're out, aren't they? They're having uh, they're not really because it's like but they're having sex with it, the same sex mostly. He's, he's kind of right. Saying, it, yeah, yeah. Because it, it's kind of like out? I mean, by okay. So when people say, in my opinion, when a guy could, says that they're bi to me, I'm like, so you're just you don't want the commitment of being like I'm gay because they just okay. want to still have kind of like that little bit of hope that they're like, oh, I still like girls though. Well, but what, so, but maybe they, they actually it's do weird like girls on the though. Kinsey scale though. Yeah. Because what, what I mean, the, what's the Kinsey scale? The Kinsey scale is the um, Kinsey scale essentially is established. Kinsey was a doctor, uh, uh-huh. sexual uh, health specialist, I believe, mm-hmm. um, and he created a scale which everybody fits on. And on one end is like completely homosexual, on the other end is completely straight. Okay. So um, there's everybody fits somewhere on the scale. Gotcha. Did you ever take yeah. the Kinsey test? I'm a, so my, it's it's not exactly no, accurate. I have it. Because I'm technically on. There's a test. On, there's a test yeah. I guess. I when guess. I, went to, yeah, when I, I guess this sucks my... because I probably would be kind of in the middle. Yeah, because I I actually came up on the Kinsey scale as a seven straight. Okay. So it can't be that accurate. Oh, wow. Yeah. Not no. Do you know what I mean? No. Yeah. Because they show you pictures and they say and you know they okay I'll just tell you straight up they put a thing around your balls oh, wow. on your dick and they they measure. The blood flow in your um oh when they show you shit like when yeah they show you- oh look at that okay yeah yeah oh, fuck. and I did it I'm like fuck yeah so uh, <laughs> of course like, you did who needs a test uh, <laughs> okay I mean, how hot's the pictures though? you know what I'm saying they're pretty I'm, hot <laughs> you said, uh, yeah yeah like Jenna Jameson when she was young and shit was okay. it really oh yeah they, oh they, fuck they, all right they were they were giving me the good shit <laughs> yeah I was gonna just say. <laughs> <laughs> oh jeez! Then they showed me Archie Bunker as the guy, so maybe it was yeah. like they're probably yeah, trying to rig, rig the test. Yeah. You can totally rig this one way or another, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. But yeah. um, the thing is, if like so, it, with a bi someone that says they're bisexual, mm-hmm. 
it's a good test is if you meet someone they're like oh i'm bi like oh yeah you want to get together and we can have sex but like we're also gonna fuck this girl they would be like oh my god no yeah uh, that's what i'm oh, saying okay. Okay. and when i say when i said that earlier i'm just kidding when i say like they're just too scared that's just me and my 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 uh encounters with, with some with, of the buys. With the buys. No, do they is have that, names it, too? The exact, no, there's, there's no categories. Buy. It's just you just buy. Just I buy. think that they're just like, yeah, they're like this um they're kind of like a specter. Yeah. <laughs> like a <laughs> they're just <laughs> luring over. They're, they're just they're, they're somewhere, they're, but I don't know where they yeah, are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I got they're the Phantom Menace for sure. They're they're leaving Charlie's uh, early before you know, they they you, know Charlie's. you know yeah they are at Charlie's. <laughs> the bisexuals invade Charlie's they, over there. They they love always they do love really? Charlie's. They yeah. lo- fucking love Charlie's like old people like butterscotch. Yeah. <laughs> they live for that yeah, shit. Yeah, that's a weird. Like I said, that is Charlie's a, that's is a weird fever analogy, dream. Yeah, okay. yeah. It's, but, it's, you know what? I will say um, that something that has been no- annoying the fuck out of me is um, straight guys have been calling themselves twinks recently, and I'm like, absolutely what? not, yeah. absolutely not. You lead that word to the gays. I don't care who you are. I don't care if you're an ally or not. You do not call yourself a twink. So, okay? uh, they did, yeah, because they're say they're young and or whatever and small. It's just kind at of like appropriating point, at this our point culture. now. It's like <laughs> yeah. it's, yeah, it's at this point. That's the only bad thing about like being so accepting in this day is that now they're taking our lingo and uh, they're just running with it. Yeah, yeah. Just like just like for the longest time, um, recently, um, any guy who's just kind of slutty, who's like doesn't, it's just c- considered a himbo, and it's like fuck boy bimbo was oh. like the big that's oh, like okay. bimbo, okay, and, bimbo. Okay. and so now guys are calling themselves himbos just because they wear somewhat over the knee shorts and tank tops that are not exactly like crop tops but they yeah. if they lift up you can see like their their chest and shit like that <laughs> and they're like i'm a himbo and i'm like no you're that not doesn't make like you just that. because you're just like a little <laughs> whore in the gym doesn't mean you're a himbo and it's like and and they're just in this day and age everybody is just using terms that oh, they're finding God. and just making it a thing so like when i saw like yeah. when some of these straight guys have been like i'm a twink i'm like you don't even know what the word means you yeah. don't even know like you're not you're not a twink and i was like and if you did you'd probably be scared of your saying that right now so well, it's like, it's like uh, yawn the thing <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh, the yawn. thing is like and well, talking about like uh our culture so like our culture actually if you look to trace a lot of the gay things that we say right the uh, culture still goes back even further to ballroom to ballroom culture. so the thing yeah. is now it's weird because with talking about allies and also talking about the bleeding of cultures as mm-hmm. like the world becomes smaller with media, media right um on I, I watch ESPN all the time right right and um they're always saying things that come from ballroom like on ESPN yeah. they were like I mean I'm not throwing any shade like they fucking say yeah. that that yeah. shit throwing shade is yeah. literally a ballroom term really? literally that yeah and now it's just said on fucking ESPN well, yeah, by it's everybody just like, it's I hear just it all the like, time like yeah, slay dude. or or like shade like you said boots. shade boots boots yeah. boots hound or uh what is it uh, down boots yeah down boots <laughs> yeah. or just like period yeah. shit like that really? all that sense. has all come from ballroom which yeah. the gays took and now the straights are taking it so yeah. it it's just it, it's annoying because it's like people will just. I wonder why they taking it. Why they taking it? Because it because they want it. it it's it's it like, I think kind of you said they like, we're so accepted now. I'm like, oh yeah. Nah. It's just they want to be fucking call me daddy. It's because yeah. the, it's because the gays are creative. <laughs> that's why. Yeah. Well, that's the thing is, is which like, yeah. I was yeah. Going, that's my next question. That's, that's, yeah. that's next episode. I got yeah. I got a I got a whole fucking Hell mess of yeah. questions about that stuff. Yeah. But yeah, so. yeah. It's just like. You know, they're realizing how not uptight we are and how much we just don't care. And we'll say things. We're funny. We self-deprecate ourselves a lot. So, like, mm-hmm. like everything about us is, like, hating on ourselves. or sure. But it's not really not in a bad way that we're hating on ourselves. Yeah. And it's just I think people are finally realizing that, like, I think we're a little bit more relatable than people used okay, to sure. think we were. Yeah. And like it's it's just we're more out about it. We're just mm-hmm. we just don't give a fuck. In my opinion, <laughs> I'll say the dumbest shit ever, yeah. not think twice about it. But then mm-hmm. like if I go to like if I was to say that now in high school, like people would be looking at me like, "What the fuck are you saying? Speak mm-hmm. English, kind right?" Of thing. Yeah. So it's just like you know, it's just this? like you said, the smaller the world gets with media, the more yeah. bleed we're gonna see. Yeah, the more culture. the more bleed over. Yeah, but also like it's kind of going one way. We don't get a lot of straight bleed over into the no. Gay well, world. no, because we don't want anything until from the straight. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing is we we're trying to stay far away from it while they're trying to get closer. I'm gonna drop like a bomb on you until Aaron Rodgers comes out. Uh, uh, then we'll, oh, <laughs> shit. damn, that'll be our that'll be our we're, yeah that'll, that'll be, be our, our big claim. one. Yeah, yeah th- all right, literally. Um, so <laughs> yeah, oh, there you go. All right, I learned. Thank you guys. 
Harry great Larry's quarterback. A, yeah. Um, but, <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, uh, what was I going to tell you? Oh, so I had an idea. So, like, uh, well, there's two things we talked about. A, either we're going to go to Turkey. And I was like, Melda, will you go with me to Turkey? So I'll I go to surgery. Turkey. I'll go to surgery. Turkey. Hell so yeah. So, we can either do that. Or I was thinking, you know what we should do, dude? And mm-hmm. then Jason, I don't know if Gina will be cool with you doing this. Yeah. Is we should oh. actually um, fucking rate, go around, and hit up all of like the titty bars in the town. Oh, so Gina's fine with that. With the gay guys. Okay. Like we could go. Okay. Yeah. I'm down with that. Let's do it. We should That'd do it, fun. right? That'd be fun. Because yeah. it'd be like, yo, like they're going to know. I'll like, be able to play straight for once and do it. Oh, maybe. we don't got to play straight. We're going to be <laughs> fucking completely gay. Because we're going to walk in. They're going to be like, obviously, we're going to, uh, you know, I mean, we're not going to yeah. drag or anything, but we're going to be like, <laughs> oh, I I'm mean, we're not going to like, drag. I mean, I, you're going to be writing. I'm going to try to get up on that stage and make my money. Oh, Because no. no, no. <laughs> we've been in their position, so we're never going to say anything bad True. about the girls. Yeah. We're just going to talk about like the overall experience. Yeah. And then, how you know, we'll kind of be okay, like, down. <laughs> we <laughs> should fucking do it. Let's dude. do it. I'm down. Like, uh, yeah, Gina's cool. Though. She okay. doesn't give a fuck. Like, if the girls are giving, the gays are living. That's yeah. what I say. Yeah. You know what I mean? We're all going to period, period, yeah. period. Get work, this money. Yeah, for real. Work for that I money. I think we should do it. <laughs> all right. Get that bank. That's Done. Yeah. That's Done funny. deal. Let's do it. I'm yeah. Not, yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, I, got, I got a good list of places already. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <Yes>. Sorry. <laughs> I've been to a couple. It's yeah. funny, too. If they know my name when I walk in, that's it's it's already, totally it's biased. coincidence. It's really it's really funny that we actually bring that up because... Last weekend for my it was my birthday celebration. Yeah. So I went to the Van Gogh exhibit. Really cool. I recommend that. It's really fun. It's yeah. a lot of money though. Kinda not worth it, but it is cool. How it's much is a lot of money? It it was like fifty six dollars. And but oh, the boy. thing is it, like it, a, that's but, a lot of money. That's, well, no, that's like Wolf Tony's no, shoelaces. No, the thing is it's it's a lot of money <laughs> well, for what like it's a lot of money for what you get. <laughs> okay. Because oh, yeah. all you're doing is sitting in a room with some with some like benches and it's yeah. just projection screen oh. on a wall. Did it drive you insane? No, it, it actually was just fun because it, I mean it was fun because it's like the whole wall in the the floor is all projecting Van Gogh's paintings, but oh. they're all like animated. Oh, cool! I thought it was gonna be like a little bit more like an exhibit where like you actually walk around and there's like sculptures or like something, you know, like just yeah. a little bit more like active, right? Instead of just walking into a room and sitting on a bleacher and yeah, yeah. just watching pictures move, like I could just went on my computer and saw like yeah. animated Van Gogh paintings. <laughs> you could have just like had some I mushrooms have, and stare yeah, at a Van Gogh painting. Yeah, yeah, save that, 50 bucks. Literally a that. A saver. And, and um but the so when I was there though we were in um cuz it was in Scottsdale. It was funny because when we were driving there I saw a bunch of really funny names for uh, strip clubs, and mm-hmm. one was like the Bone, and then <laughs> is that another a gay one. And, no, th- these are all straight like strip oh. clubs. And then there was another <laughs> one that was called like uh, like Spine. Or something, or like spine. The they were fuck? all, and I was like, "What's the next one?" The femur, because it was really funny because they were all because they were all based off of bones, and they were all within like, like really? yards of each other. It was That's really funny. It Maybe was, it was really a funny. medical facility area. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> doctor. Maybe I don't know. It was really funny though because they looked so cool. They were all lit up. You see like the the really cool like LED like stripper girl like yeah. signs at the front door and stuff and you see like the big old guy standing there and shit like that but mm-hmm. it was just funny because the names were like the bone the spine and <laughs> the gays like, are the awful femur. ours are like always stupid like Our the no. cock the cock charlie's. charlie's i never well no I, I remember going down uh, when i lived in san diego and you go to the airport and you have to go down this big fucking hill and right on the right side of the hill you always see it right it's moby dicks right moby dicks. and there's you know there's there's pride flags you're like mm-hmm. of course yep. it's moby of course it's a yeah. <laughs> moby of course dicks, it would right? be <laughs> ours are just weird here ours is like stacy's charlie's Stacey's. Names. it's always name yeah it's roscoe's always, roscoe's it's like what are these names like what are the why can't <laughs> they, at that you know still like mm, they're trying not to get <laughs> hate crime that's crimes. true that's yeah, a good crime. point yeah, yeah that's point. true <laughs> so do you have before we close it out uh, do you have uh, anything else to add do you have a Fright Night fuck boy? I, d- I do I okay. have uh, James Marster is that how you say Marsden it? Marsden yeah from um Buffy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I couldn't wow. remember if it was Marston or Marston. Marston. No, you got Marston. Marston. It was Marston. Marston is the other guy. Marston is the guy from... Um, X-Men and shit, X-Men, right? 21 Dresses, shit like that. Yeah. That guy, Prince... The, the prince in enchantment. He's shit some. Like he's that. Like, yeah. yeah, he's just some guy. Yeah, he's some jadrul. <laughs> he's some white guy. Well, well, mine is kind of controversial. Uh oh. Because it's a real person. Oh. Geez. And I barely saw his pictures yesterday. Oh. And it's Bama's son. <laughs> what? Yeah. Wait, what? They have Dude. Fun. Okay, so here's the deal. Wait, Bama, Bama, I know you're listening Bama, to this. I was about to say, I'm, 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 I'm paying apologize. you mad respect, Bama, I with apologize. all due respect. I apologize. So she, Bama, she has a son. Yeah. He's like 
and she was like, oh, my son is like, you know, he's like handsome. She's she's open about it. So, and for people out there listening, Bama is one of our vendors. She's one of our vendors. Very special. And a huge fan, her and her husband. Uh, Yeah, Larry. Are very big fans of this podcast. Shout out to them. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys, because I know they're wherever, like in real time, they're hearing this. They're they're listening to this in the car. Like sweating or uncomfortable. (laughs) So she was like, oh, my son's really attractive. And I'm like, okay, word. Like, you know. Yeah. And then show me his pictures. Every mom saying, like, my kid's attractive. Sure. My kid's a cutie. Yeah. Yeah, And then I'm like, mm hmm. And then she showed me, she was like, God damn. <laughs> God <laughs> damn. <laughs> Is I was he gay? Like, no, I don't think he's oh, gay. Oh, he's straight? I, okay. I, but I'm like, but that okay. won't stop. I, oh, I, I, I would leave my relationship. Oh wow! Oh, no, I'm boy. kidding. I would. Leave oh my Jesus! <laughs> but I'm like, holy shit! I'm like, Bama, this is just compliments on your part. Yeah, yeah I'm like, no, no, lovely no. children. You, guys, you did a good job. Yes, good, good genetics. Children. Good genetics. Yeah, and, and then she Larry showed me a picture Pope. of like her. I think it's her biological father uh-huh. and him. And I'm like, holy shit! Like well, really? he was hot too. <laughs> but, yeah, I was like, that's we love yeah. you guys. Oh my gosh! Well, that's good job. Good on you. That's good on you. Yeah, good on you. It's gonna be an interesting conversation come next week. I know. Oh, the God. counter is be awesome. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Wait, is is wow? It's, the the next sales from the dark side is coming, coming up. February is, February eleventh. No. If you very guys, exciting. You, it's a Saturday. It's, it's our my Saturday. bloody Valentine. You guys, you're in this in the Chandler Phoenix. If you're in fucking Arizona, come to it. It's so Please, fun. It's man. fun, yeah. and we also have the annual or annual, but like we have the the regular mm. cosplay contest. And I heard that you're doing a children's one. We now. are. We are. Because it's so I, exciting. Yeah. I felt bad because like, a lot of these kids, man. They, they I they, thought that was great. Yeah, they dress up and mm-hmm. then they're competing with like yeah like, like grown ass adults like yeah. people are, you know and yeah. So, um, so yeah so we're that's, doing a 12 and under that's get up great. here on stage have some fun they all get little gift bags and that's fun, great stuff like because that. I, I, I don't think I wanted anything more as a kid than to have like a Halloween costume yeah. when I would do stuff like that because I was always in a costume as a mm-hmm. kid like no matter what if I made it or if I bought it yeah. or if my parents bought it for me I was always in a costume and I, there was never enough co- like 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 contest or like things where you could just kind of be free about it yeah. Yeah. and I think that's so cool because that's something like as a kid I would have absolutely loved and to see the amount of kids who come all done oh up my at the yeah. house from the dark side yeah. it warms my heart because it is so fun to see it that, is. that's something as a kid I didn't have a lot of so yeah. I'm just like I'm kind of living through these little yeah. kids and seeing how happy they are and the parents too totally yeah. who go with them and dress mm-hmm. up with them too I think that's so fun kids love it and, and it's something that I love to see it too because I mean yeah. I look at them they're having a blast and uh, and I know they all want to enter and they're competing with you know yeah. and I'm like you know what this is more I, I say it's a content it's more of a, just a parade just, yeah you know yeah. Yeah. they're going to get, up on, get yeah. up on stage we're going to have fun we're all going to cheer for them and uh, you know regardless how good the costume doesn't matter they're, they put effort into it I'm happy about and that. that's what I encourage Courage. and I yeah. encourage and that's not just for kids that's for anybody I encourage anybody to come to these because we don't even judge on on how well it's executed or anything right. it's about your presence yep. it's about how excited we you make us feel when we're judging especially me and Franco yeah. I mean I don't know about Franco sometimes you're a little brutal <laughs> uh, I, I don't, I, you ain't seen nothing you're <laughs> you like, yeah uh, but you know it's it's more about how you make us feel on you, that stage you guys are both them. there this oh yeah yes, okay. always, I'm dressing up and so we oh and, this. and yeah. I have a very special I've been working on an outfit for almost a month now for this. Oh, for this for this. Can event. I say what mine is now? So I hope that we don't. Yeah, I'll we don't say cross mine over. too if we want to. Yeah. Well, mine is going to be a. Um, I'm going to be like in a diaper oh. with <laughs> wings, <laughs> and um, right. like a, I'm going to have like a halo thing, <laughs> and then I'm just basically like that little Valentine fat the baby, little, the little cherub. But I won't be fat by then. <laughs> yes, I'll be waist. Uh, right. uh, according to your doctor, <laughs> that motherfucker, <laughs> fuck him. Says he needs to lose ten pounds. What? Yeah, dude, but you then, read me, my Melda, doctor. I don't, read me. It probably had our last podcast, but I'm going to just fucking. I, I like throwing Wolf Tummy under the bus. Yes, we and, and then we'll get off here because oh. I think we've won like nine hours. Yeah, uh, but uh, we have know, to open in an hour. <laughs> yeah, there's shit. Uh, you know, so we're in this three or four way group text and group uh-huh. cast, right? Oh, and, here and we go. Th- so at the end, of, at the and I wasn't even going to bring this up, but at the end <laughs> of the uh, last creep cast. Uh, Wolf Tony said about a little doctor experience he had, and the doctor uh, at the end of the, the thing said, "Hey, everything looks great." He said, "Your hair looks great." Because I don't know what kind of doctor you go to, but anyway, that's weird. <laughs> my nails. But uh, yeah, and he goes, "But uh, you can lose ten pounds." What? Yeah, drag, which, which, drag, drag, right? So, which crushed him, right? Yeah. yeah. But and then at first I felt bad. I'm like, "What an asshole!" But then I'm like, "Oh wait, on this group text that we got, it was." You know, you accidentally send. We, we normally talk about just horror and shit. Yeah, uh, you accidentally send uh, something to the wrong group. Yes, and all of a sudden, we're oh all, no, we get all of a sudden it's like, yeah, give me two <laughs> double cheeseburgers. Uh, fuck it. Plus, what else? I mean, it was a list exposed, of shit. Exposed, yeah. dude. And I was like, oh my god, holy just, shit! Yeah. That we is destroyed so him. Funny. Yeah, I dude, I caught it like right after I sent it. I was sending yeah, it down fuck, my fuck, food fuck, order. Fuck. 
But I was like, give me two like double quarter pounders. Yes, that's what it was. And then I was like, and then I want an additional oh, double great. cheeseburger. Oh, and that's it, fucking great. And dude. I'm sitting there going, oh, and then, with and then, a diet coke. And then all of a sudden it's like, oh, that was for Dan. And I'm like, too <laughs> fucking my, too late. Is it too late? <laughs> my order wasn't even done yet either. Uh, I still wanted more food. Great, that's so fucking good, yeah, dude. Yeah. That is literally the universe. So my so, uh, so, the, so the, us feeling bad that you knew to lose ten pounds. Fuck off, Fred. You, yeah, fuck <laughs> you, you're, off, eat, you're eating yeah. double cheeseburgers. I've already lost four. Oh, okay. Uh, that's so told me that. Funny, dude. Six more to go. Oh, I'm going to go back over and be like, fuck you. <laughs> that's great. That's oh. perfect. Well, oh, thank man. you guys for sticking with us. Yes. yes. Um, we wait, had a blast. Ever... Oh, yeah. Oh, never mind. Never mind. You did. Oh, wait. Who's you did. your. Who's your... Do you already said no? We both said our. Yeah, you guys boys. said it. Yeah, yeah. I, I almost. I don't I have like, one. What'd you I'm say? Yeah. yeah, I was. Um, I just call him Bama son. Yeah, yeah, Bama son. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah, that hot tatted dude. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Oh boy. Oh yeah. man. Um, <laughs> so, uh, uh, you know, so thank you guys for sticking with us. Yeah, uh, thank you so much. This we look forward to the fun. next episode. Uh, yeah, yeah, please give us a follow on all of the socials. Yeah, yes. follow Terror Trader. Yeah, very, yeah. very, very, very thankful to them. We had some fun. We had some fun continuing to uh, support us. Yes. Yeah, and we got uh, so we, three podcasts now under the oh, Terror yeah, Trader wanted, belt. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Obviously, oh, we have yeah. Drag Us to Hell, which you listen to right now. You yeah. have our flagship, which is Creepcast, yes. right? This is what, what kind of started. This is what started the everything. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and the then um, we started another one. It's called Terror Files. Um, mm-hmm. And it's basically, if you like cryptids and urban legends and all that, but you like that, but, you know, I know there's a lot of podcasts that do that, but they're always serious. And they're always like, deep inside and I, yeah. I, I can't do that so I'm just like hey there's this thing out there that fucking will kill you it's yes. pretty rad and yeah. you know so we talk about it but you can also leave with an education so yeah. there you guys go so terrifiles, terrifiles drag us to hell of course and then of course Creepcast guys yes, absolutely the, the we, like, we like talking I, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we like, talk a lot yeah, yeah we, we talk just like talking so if you're in the valley please swing by yeah. uh, swing by the shop have some yes. fun have some yeah. fun so. oh, just come buy some horror shit man there yeah, you go support please. local horror yes uh, and if you could follow me if you want I don't care <laughs> uh, I'm the underscore wolf to me. Yep. Uh, and you can follow Melda on all of the social medias. Yes. Including in- including Grinder. Grinder. Yep. Mm-hmm. I'm yep. not on Grinder or any of that shit. I am. So, so. Uh, uh, no sure, judgment. Make I'm sure just, to it's send just not me. all that love my way. Please. So just don't. <laughs> it's, where send, the, uh, yeah. it's where the twinks are at. Yeah. yeah look, at me, look at me. Look at this that's guy. Right, I fucking know what I'm talking yep, about. Where exactly. the wild twinks are. <laughs> where the wild twinks are. Yep. Soon to be twunks. Yeah. Soon to be. Silver bear otters. Power seal otter. Power seal. God damn it. Yeah. All right, thank you guys, and we will talk to you next week. Goodbye. Bye.